Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the table. Grant, good to have you back. Hi. I'm glad to be back. Yes. Uh, ben, good job last week with the Billy Punchy Face one-off. Uh, Chapter two. <laughs> <laughs> I had a terrible case of the uh-uhs that day. Yeah, chat, people who've commented, however much it bothered you, it bothered me more. Because <laughs> he had to go back and see it. Yep. <laughs> uh uh, you yeah. might notice Kaiser isn't here this week. That's because he did not roll a single natural one. Not a natural uh, wonder. Therefore, not, not a crew. wonder. Not yeah. a wonder. Can't, Sorry. Cannot join the club. <laughs> not with the cool kids. Uh, I do have a couple of things here. Uh, Grant, Balcon053 sent this in the Friday you left. Ooh. Ooh. That looks awesome. Yeah, go along with Wake's spear that I got behind me here. Yeah. Now we got. Uh, we have we haven't had that one. Uh, haven't shown that off here yet, have I we? Think, I think I had it on here, but uh, we you... got this at Phoenix Comic Con. You'll have to forgive me. I do not. Oh, oh camera's on somebody else. There we hey, go. Yeah. You'll have to forgive me, but uh, I do not remember who exactly gave this to me. But thank you again so much, because this thing is amazing. Uh, luckily, it was collapsible, so I was able to take it in our luggage on the way back. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm but very I happy. I had like a thousand percent. So I'm gonna set that right eventually. Oh no. There. Cool. <laughs> uh, also, uh, Ben and Grant, you are not here to receive these, but Chris M has made some lovely chainmail dice bags. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I did uh... Oh wait, this one's mine. Yours is somewhere. Uh, you know what? I think I, I think Oh, you I might saw have already it. grabbed yours? Yeah, I think okay. I already grabbed it. I think I found it in the uh, in the streaming room. Yeah, thank you very much, Chris M and Balcon. And uh yeah, we got it over there reading the dungeon master's manual. He's a little yep, doing taller than the camera is, but <laughs> that's okay. Uh, so it's been about two weeks since we. Uh, this is real. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> we see Zeno. Now. You exist. Uh, it's been about two weeks since we. Now I want to make a change. Last joined the Natural Wonders, who have fought their way into a. Infested ship, just full of monstrosities on yeah. this archipelago after Something getting uh, strush, uh, like kind of lost ashore. You know, they kind of, they kind of went aground, and uh, they ran into Wake's child, like uh, some family members of Wake's childhood heroes, the Ash Drakes. <gasps> yep, undead the, exist, guys. The Ash Drakes. Ash you, you have to Drakes. really enunciate that, sh or people get confused. <laughs> they do. Oh, I've, I've seen I've seen a few yeah. different things out <laughs> there. Ask Drake's. Yeah, they they don't know why you would want to ask Drake. Uh, I've also seen Ashtray, which is <laughs> yeah. Which I, I'm, is, I'm, thi I'm thinking that one is uh, uh, that might be my insult that, that, for him. That that might be uh, <laughs> spell correct. Side. You know that that might be autocorrect, just kind of doing its thing. Yeah. But yes, the Ash Drakes. Those booty uh, Drakes. We found Rock Ash Drake and his. Guardian and Butler, might. The <laughs> mighty large M I T. M I T. Just M I T? M I T E. M I T E. -E. Okay, there, there you go. Yeah, Zito, feel free to take us away as we have just rescued Nedra from the grips of a <laughs> the clutches. horrific manipede. You don't know what it is. I call it a manipede. Uh, I, I know what it is now, which is Dealt thankfully with. Fucking dead. Yeah, fucking yep. dead. Yep. Again. So. Where we last left off is that Red pulled Eloy and, we and uh, Ezra aside to discuss that she doesn't find the Ash Drakes. Not, not Rock, of course. Rock is a new kid. He's, he's just walked into this vampire game. She's never seen this kid before. She knows of him, but she knows way more of his two brothers, his two older brothers, who are far more egotistical. And there's some bad blood, especially with this sorry about that uh there is that was actually some information being passed on Ooh. to me ah mm, fun yes my uh the mods in my discord know some things uh oh cool. yes so yeah, anyway a... uh she has stated that she's not fond of his two older brothers who are wakes heroes Yep. <laughs> Who are Wake's heroes, yes. Classic. We pretty much have just discovered that Wake had, like, an Avenger-esque, like, fan club. He read the tomes. He read, yep, the tomes <laughs> were real. No, they, I made it clear that these guys are the Avengers of this universe. Okay. Yeah, but they're, she doesn't like them because they seem to be more into the glitz and glory side of this and are less actually trying to help people. Whereas her family and her, uh, her organization are more about 
guys, no, stop fucking around. We need to save the world. Yeah. I just want to throw out there that it is never Wake's intention to upset Red. It's just the dice. <laughs> the curse of just, the circumstances. The just dice happen. just keep going, man. <laughs> So if only I could use that in real life. No, seriously, honey, I just rolled a nat one on my charisma check. Just um, come come back just, inside. Yeah. Well, just like that future <laughs> episode. Greetings. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> so we had just wa- we're now just exiting the room where you fought the manipede. Uh, you're heading down, but. If you recall, going down towards the other end of the ship, that's where the huge mass of torpedo snails were. Yep. You're just about entering uh, the hallway where that mass is happening. Like, you're seeing, like, more of them are just starting to, like, appear on the sides of the wall. Uh, There is a room to the side of you that doesn't have as much snails coming out of it, but they are latched onto the doorway. All right, Uh, what happens when, uh, I still have my torch because I was beating that manipede to death with it. Uh, What happens when I like hold my torch near the torpedo snails? Do they kind of like scatter, like kind of move back or away from it? They all slink into their their shells. All right, so they don't slink away, but they go into the shell. Yep, they retreat into their shells. Okay. What happens if I touch them with the torch? Like the shells? I was like, it looks like it's burning. This is going to take a bit. <laughs> yeah, Anybody got some salt? Don't know if this will be the most efficient way to deal with these. We just light this whole thing on fire, but See, I don't See, that's kind think... of been my request from the start, but it's Red not... seems quite certain there might be things of import. In As this... uh, Rock and uh, <laughs> Might turn to you when you say that, and especially we have a uh, fun little photo now for the folks at home. Ooh. Uh, just both. Just put up both. Okay. Oh, these Resident are... artist Jack Kaiser has made the official artwork for Rock and Might. By nice. God, the jowls on that man. <laughs> Dude, an absolute unit. Listen, orcs, I I told Jack, orcs in this universe, they gotta have underbite for fucking eons. <laughs> so they're so they're Warhammer orcs. Pretty much, okay. yeah. But nothing ever said that they couldn't look nice, they couldn't dress nice, they couldn't be people. But by God, the chin, the physical description. So he's a, a butler, like... I guess we don't really know the extent to what, like, how he buttles, but obviously he's like a, a bodyguard butler. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. A buttle guard. All right, you can, lick, you can uh, drop him. Bye, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you already. Uh, Might and Rock turn to you and just shake their heads like, no, we, as much as that would be the easy way out, Rock is talking to you right now. Mm-hmm. By the way, the two little, uh, the pseudo dragons, have any of you ever seen what a crocodile skink looks like? You showed me this morning. Yep, I showed you, but you guys. Uh, they are the closest things to what look like little baby toothlesses in real life. Okay. Uh, so just think that, but their four their four limbs have wings uh, where arms should be, so kind of like a bat. Okay. Okay. So they're wyvern-like. Kinda. Yeah. They're, they're Game of Thrones dragons, not... Uh... Pretty much. Okay. Well, when he says that, I just kind of shrug. You're like, well, all right, if uh, if things go poorly, then uh, I'll try to keep in mind how this was all for the greater good. All right. My uh, sir, you sound a little bit pessimistic, mm, yes. I'm just saying, uh, we, we've been on this big old watery road for a while, and I feel like we frequently find ourselves tangled into, we could easily solve this, but there's something special that we need to do first. <laughs> no, no problem, sir. I mean, we've, we, I have, he like opens up his jacket and shows like, a shitload of gadgets. There's crosses. There's books. There's tomes. Wake's this just in there like, <laughs> the collection. Yeah, like this dude's got like wooden stakes for days going down this jacket. <laughs> We're well, well equipped, sir. <laughs> I trust you, and since you guys seem to be the experts and professionals and know more what we're dealing with, despite being the captain of our outfit, I'll uh, defer judgment to you guys. You seem to be on the job. Do you uh, happen to, uh, m- m- Mr. Mr. Ashdrake, sir, do, do, do your little, like, do, do, do your babies breathe fire? Because that might be able to send these things skittering. Well, yes, they do. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Like, but, would they be able to like do do that? Like, do you wish me to test them? In I mean, not test. I mean, it, it would be an effective use of their abilities well, to get rid of these. Well, yes, poking we, poking with the <laughs> torch. <laughs> well, again, we don't wish to set this entire place ablaze. And while these are infants, uh, they are rather unruly. The reason I brought them out with me today is to try and 
break them, so to speak. As he says that, you watch as one of them just, just grab the side of his head, just like that. Oh, so they're like baby raptors. Yeah. <laughs> I used to have a potion for that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you guys are at the doorway right now. You're pretty much, like you said, shooting, uh, uh, putting fire next to them. They kind of retreat into their shell, but like... You're obviously doing something because, like, the one torpedo snail you set ablaze just hits the floor. One down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can, you can see, like, what you think is shadow going forward. That's just, like, wriggling mass of torpedo snails. However, to the side of you is the doorway to another room. All right. I don't want to blitz through all my key here. So what I'm going to try to do, uh, is there a space on this door that is not covered by snails? Yeah, you can... Like, there's a few here and there, but, like, with a good check, a, a fairly basic check, you can open the door with no problem. Oh, okay. I'll just do that then. I was All right. Roll a deck save. Deck save. Aha! My specialty. Yeah. Uh, that is a 8 plus 7, 25. Yeah, with no problem. Like, you're just like, you're bothering me. Stop it. Like, you're, you're just shooing away the snails. With the fire, they kind of retreat in. You just open the door. <laughs> it opens a little bit, but it stops. Something is barring the entry. Uh, can I see, like, uh, can I see through, like, the gap of the door? Perception. I I'm asking, like, if I can see the thing that is, like, I is there, like, uh, like if, an if you want to bar? If, yeah, if you want to, if you want to look in deeper, that yeah, would be I'm, a perception I'm not, check. I'm not, I'm not trying to look all the way into the room to like see what's around. I'm just trying to see if I can. You're looking at a bunk bed. What looks like a bunk bed that's been flipped upside down. Okay, Remember, so the bunk bed is blocking the door. Yes. How strong does this door seem? Like when I pushed it, does it like, like obviously the top half is kind of giving. There's heft in. to it, but like you feel you can easily just like hoist the door open. Someone like Risk would have trouble doing so. All right. Uh, Nedra, are you ready to punch something? Oh boy, am I! All right, her and I on the count of three are going to punch this door and just obliterate its top half. All right. Roll a strength check. Try to aim for a spot Athletics without actually. snails. Huh? Athletics check. Athletics, gotcha. Well, I got to roll for Nedra to not get bit by these things. Yeah, one, two, for punchy. Uh, athletics check. So modify, you tell you tell her 20, yeah. you tell her not to punch the snail. She immediately just punches one. Well, as long as it's dead and not biting her. Yeah, she just made that check. So she kills it on impact just before it can <laughs> pierce her fist. But she did do good on that athletics check. Uh, what'd you roll again? Modified 20. Modified 20, and with Nedra, that's a 27. Yeah, so we just obliterate the top half of that door, I guess. Not only that, but I'm going to roll severity real quick. Great. <laughs> You've that's splintered. a good thing when we're the ones doing the attacking, <laughs> I think, most of the time. Wow, that's pretty low, so that's pretty high. Okay. <laughs> uh, bleh, did I stroke? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I realized what I just said. So good. Remember, low means a, a high, high, little a high result. Gotcha. So, you watch as you and Nedra punch the door. The one half of it that's still blocked by all the beds on the floor is that's still there, but the top half goes flying and actually breaks into the side of the door and lets in sunlight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got some light in here. That's that's good. What? So what? That's not a good sound. That was coming from inside. Now I'll make that perception check. Something's no. Something knows we're here. <laughs> oh, first of the night. Eh, after so many good ones. Natural wonders. <laughs> Ah, that sun. Ah, that's so fucking bright. Oh, oh, what? Ah, that sun. <laughs> Not actually. Red. <laughs> there, there's red, might, and and uh, rock at the ready. Just like. <coughs> ah, sorry. Bright. It's very bright. Don't I worry. I haven't seen the sun in. <laughs> I haven't seen the sun in like, I don't know, five minutes. <laughs> that was that was five minutes of fighting that unnatural horror from beyond the grave. So that's like that's a long five yeah, minutes. Yeah, that's, <laughs> like, that's dog like minutes. Yeah. <laughs> So there were torpedo snails when you peer over inside the uh, the upper half of the door. Uh, there were some torpedo snails kind of like laced around the bedding, but now they all have shriveled in the sunlight and just fell over dead. If only we had a means to capture sunlight and shine it wherever we want it. That'd be so helpful. 
might. There you are, sir. Hand you a bot. He hands you what looks like a firefly in a bottle. Oh my god, is that the... Intelligence check of 15. <laughs> <laughs> How obscure is this object? <laughs> yeah. It's a sun stag. Oh my god, is that a stun stag? Sun. Yeah, sorry. I, I did both. <laughs> yeah, I, say, I did tease to the both. What? Uh, mm, yes, uh, it is. It is actually a bug that captures pure sunlight inside of its shell. Yes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> well, that might be helpful in this ship of horrors that hates sunlight. <laughs> Thanks. Just handing this out. No, not exactly. But okay. I did wish to show you. Um, well, that's that's real nifty. I might need to figure out something about that if uh, this continues to be a trend. These. Horrendous nightmares we run into that, <laughs> gee, if only they were outside. <laughs> he, you actually noticed that he handed it to you because he wanted you, you were at your hand holding the bottle was actually in the beam of sunlight. So he took it back and then it looks like that now beam of like sunlight is now radiating out okay. of the bottle. That's quite the little crafty toy you got there. You're watching as like the creature's thorax is shaking violently and, and making like a, a clock whirring <laughs> noise. Anyway, my eyes are still adjusting to the light. Anybody see, like, anything cool in there? Like, uh, what's, like, tinnitus for eyes? I got that. <laughs> well, I got it. And if Riss were here, he'd actually give you an answer for that. <laughs> well, I rolled an eight in perception, so I don't know how much more I'll be seeing. Uh, what you see inside here looks like a lot of treasure chests that have been, uh, not sh treasure chests, but, like, just chests that look mm -hmm. like they capsized over when the ship, uh, fell on its side. So there's broken chests, there's broken bedding, although there, it does look like there are people who have slept here because a lot of, like, the bedding is actually well-made and put together. Tell you one thing, kind of looks like a mess. Somebody could clean it. I think uh, that's a common theme, Captain. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> you can enter inside. You just got to roll a couple of uh, acrobatics checks to meander yourselves over all this, uh, this bedding and broken uh, shrapnel and stuff. I'll hop on over, not once my eyes clear. Uh, acrobatics, that is a 24. 24, you make it in with no problem. Uh, you notice that, did you not take care of all those snails uh, with the sunlight, you would have stepped in a giant huddle of them. They're all just shriveled on the floor right now, dead. Uh, you're now standing in the middle of the broken bedding. This was, this was a barricade. Someone made this to make sure you wouldn't get inside. All right. I look around for any immediate danger, any giant millipedes. <laughs> no giant millipedes, but you do notice there are a couple of jars of red liquid kind of like laced around the area, almost like small, like what used to be wine, but the paint on the wine bottles is so like faded out with time that you can actually see the liquid inside and it is bright red. All right. Uh, how much strength would it take to move like just to kind of shove this bunk bed back? So Athletics check. Okay, I'll... Give that a shot. Ba 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 ba. Nat twenty. Wow. Yep. All right. Bam. Yeet. <laughs> oh, bam. All right. Good to go. <laughs> Come on in. Yep. So you open the door. Everyone's able to go inside. Uh, I'm going to. You said there were overturned chests and stuff. Yep. Uh, would it be perception or investigation to see if there was anything of value? That would be investigation. All right. Yeah. Twelve. All right, Rock and uh, Might. Well, Might's actually just standing to the side. He's not actually, like, act he, besides, like, getting shit ready, he's not actively doing anything because that's per Rock's order. I just kind of so look over and, like, so throw... just kind of standing guard at the door. Yeah, pretty much. Toss him a casual nod. Yeah, it's tough being a guy. He's probably too big for the door frame. <laughs> you watch him as he just goes... <laughs> Crab walks his way in. <laughs> oh, well. You guys' talent pool just gets deeper and deeper. I'm more impressed. The more Don't time patronize I me, sir. I yeah. told you these guys are great. <laughs> Can I, uh, is the door that we came through the only, other than the hole leading to the outside sunlight, is there another entrance or exit? Uh, no. Inside this room, it is just clear, this clearly used to be, uh, quarters for people. Oh, okay. yeah. But, uh, because remember, you guys are at the bottom of the ship, technically. Right. So, uh, you roll the 12, yes? Yes. You're finding a lot of children's toys in these boxes. Uh, 
Uh, maybe some ragtag clothing, like uniforms that look like they've been cut with a knife to try and fit someone smaller. Uh, there is actually a shipping manifesto, but this is from like, well, like 40 years ago. Okay. Uh, this ship looked like it was uh, cargoing over a few contraband pieces of materials found from pirates. All uh, right, we got what seems to be a smuggling ship, and uh, looks like there were probably some kids on board. Seems that way. I mean, it makes sense. They have the rumble and sigil out there. But considering that they're all children, them actually acquiring the ship must have been fairly new, mm -hmm. or you don't... But when it comes to vampires, now with their aging process, you're not sure how long this has gone. But from this document, it does state, like, 40 or so years ago, this ship had a manifest of cargo that was full of shrapnel, scientific uh, enhancements, and tinkering objects that were actually ways to counteract magic. So a lot of these uh, materials were counter uh, counter guard to magic. Huh. That seems really neat. I, I head over to Red and kind of hand her the manifesto. This seems kind of up your alley. Figure you should probably have it. Yep, she takes a look at it, though Rock is going to keep looking over at one side. Might is now like leaning over. <laughs> Wake is examining the red jars. The red jars? Uh, well, you pick it up. Uh, you feel as though, like, check, 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 check. it has, like, this battery almost smell to it. Uh, by picking it up, you feel a slimy uh, skin layer on top of it. Oh, it, I've been here before. <laughs> it seems like it might be the snails just uh, have, like, found their way laced, uh, just going across it. Uh, though the bottle is corked. So you'd have to open the cork to see, to taste or smell what's inside of it. Before I unleash monsters, I'm going to, uh, hey, uh, any of you know what to make of these? Bloop, 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 bloop. Like, I'm, I, I'm gonna like shake it a little, see if there's any activity in the jar. Red, might, and rock all at the same time. Blood. Oh. Shake, shake, shake. Do we need blood for anything? Like an on-the-go snack? Is that what this was set up for? Like, is this rations? By the way they're packaged, yes. I don't think... If, if these vampire... Reds, like, if these vampires are children, I don't see how they could be this organized with it, especially if we don't know this yet, but nothing here is the tellings that a master vampire is here. These, these children must all be sp uh, spawns of it. Well, I guess whatever we're really dealing with is further in? Maybe. Or dead. Maybe. Let's, let's uh, cross our fingers on that. Ezra, dead. get your ball bearings ready. Master vampires are weak against those. <laughs> if we've learned anything, that's true. Uh, Rock. That's why I don't think much of these vampire hunters <laughs> with all their fancy toys. <laughs> oh, give me a bag of ball bearings. <laughs> Rock. I, uh, work, I mean, it worked well on that other ship. <laughs> Red looks to wake, looks back to Ezra. I wasn't talking about. I was just talking about ball bearings. What other ship, sir? Oh my God! We fought a vampire. Oh well, before. It's it, was a, a, it, was a, it was a long story. Was that was that not a vampire? I don't. The jury's still out. Let's it, like, say we it, weren't we weren't sure. It like turned invisible and like bit you and. We, no. Well, we saw so little of him as he fell through the deck. Yeah. Into the briny depths below. Oh no! There was like the other one. Who's though, to say? Right? It was like the other yeah. one though, the one before that thing. That no, that was. I think that was just the. That was. You must be remembering wrong. I think. What was its name? I'm actually gonna roll, roll deception here. versus his insight. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, fourteen. My insight is. Oh wait, a, sorry. Seventeen. Seventeen, you said? Yeah. Wow, you actually beat me. My insight is a fifteen. You have successfully convinced Wake that it must <laughs> no, have been something it wasn't. different. No, it was something else. Oh, God. I, I, we thought it was a vampire, remember? And then we talked about it later and realized it was. It had to have been this other thing. I'm sorry. I was just trying to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Rock gently takes the bottle from your hand and takes a look at it. There's nothing on here. Like the the paper is all thinned. That would make sense. They don't have. They why would why would whoever made this leave a trace? Though this is tellings that someone was here feeding other vampires. So there's something either larger at work here, or 
these children are very well organized. Is this a vampire factory that we've stumbled into? Is it is, is it just normal blood or is it actual like is it vampire blood? Is this blood? Roll that perception. This is aged human blood. Now is that blood that's been aged after being taken from a human or is that blood from an elderly human? Well, I mean, the aging process would take place in a barrel or something. It's so. probably b- a little bit of column A and column B. This elder human's I mean, blood wanna... has been aged. It's like, not... flavor it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he actually, like, looks over to his little dragons. The little pseudo-dragon kind of, like, sticks its head inside the bottle. Comes back out covered in blood. Should that worry us as vampire hunters? No. He's... Uh, <laughs> no, do not worry. We actually uh, bred them to have some sort of radiance. So in their blood oh. is holy magic. They were crafted this way. That's so cool. You actually watch, as he says that, you actually watch as like the blood starts to like crack, almost like it's dried, and then fall off his scales. Ah. Oh. So nice these- little detection mechanism we got here. I think it'd probably be best if we just, you know, kind of leave it here. I don't want to. I'll be honest, I've, I've never eaten human, and I don't really think I want Grammy having access to it. I can agree with that. All right, fair enough. Who is who's Grammy? Oh, she's our, uh... <laughs> she's our chef. chef. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. If she wanted to cook a human, I don't think anybody'd stop We've her. We've run into plenty of them at this point. I don't think anybody's ever really asked. Eloy, look outside the window. Roll perception. 19. You see Grammy's, like, little haggled eye, like, outside, and only you see it. You tell no one. I don't know who that is. (laughs) Who's what, sir? There's no one there. Exactly. That's what I said. For me, it's more I just don't know if, you know, (laughs) how well can vampires, like, smell just an open container of blood? Like, us having this, is this, you know, like, us... Sending pheromones into the air to get us swarmed by any anything lurking that hasn't already picked up on our presence. Although I do have an idea. I look out into the hallway, like there's just a crap ton of torpedo snails there, right? Yep. Uh, I am going to take one of the bo- like jars of blood and smash it against the opposite wall over here. Roll me a dex. There's a straight a dex because you're throwing it. Yeah, you're okay. you're you're chucking it. All right, uh, straight decks would be 15. Yep. Uh, you throw it against the floor, and you're watching as the torpedo snails all start to try to converge around it. All right, so that should open our path down the hallway a bit. All right. It's going to take five minutes, though. They're going really slow. Well, we can still investigate this room a bit more. <laughs> uh, you do find six bottles of blood. So six bottles of jarred blood. Not including the one I just broke or including? Not including. Awesome. I'll take it for now. Yeah, rock, red, and uh, rock, red, and might are gonna take one as well. Then so I will there's, take three. There's two. Yeah. Uh, so you were still searching around. You found in that you found in that chest a manifesto, the mm-hmm. clothing, uh, some children's toys. Uh, you do notice that there is another piece of cloth, like almost looks like a bandana with the same emblem from the Rumblood's flag outside. Okay. So there are a couple of those uh, still about. Uh, there are two other chests you haven't investigated yet. I hold up the Rumblood bandana, and I'm just like, if we're, if we're ever in a questionable scenario, if one of us is wearing this, do you think this will put us on the good side or the bad side of the Rumbloods? <laughs> will it look like we're fans or like we took one of them hostage and kept their bandana? I don't know how they feel about people wearing their colors. Like, do you need to like know the signs? Everyone, throw? roll me a history check. Net 20. Everywhere. 11. Ezra, you know that wearing their, wearing their colors wouldn't be so much of a problem. It's just that age is an issue here. You need to be a child. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess none of us would probably fit their, uh, their prerequisites for being part of their, their crew, what with us being mature adults here. Nedra might. <laughs> just look up at Nedra. Ah. I'm the tallest child there ever was. You sure <laughs> are. You High are. five. 
You'll get it. You'll get it. Come on. Jumping for it. Jump check. (laughs) Fourteen. She like lowers it down, and you you like it's like you get the bottom of her palm. Yeah, Yeah. you get the bottom of her palm. (laughs) Yeah. Got it. I don't. I don't know if they would see her and assume she's a child, but I guess it's not (laughs) not a terrible idea. I just take this along. He just stuffs it in his Red is hearing this conversation, looks over to Rock. Tell me your age, child. I'm 14. Would that work? You, uh, based on your 20, that would absolutely super work. Anyone who's not the age, uh, anyone who's below the age of 18 when it comes to, like, human years, that's Mm -hmm. the age range you're looking Uh, for. I mean, Nedra's only a year older. I I hand it over to Rock, just being like, hi. Worst comes to worst, we run into these rum bloods, you make like you're one of them and you caught us. <laughs> we can maybe talk our way out of situations like that. A fine idea, but the problem with that is is that I'm adorned in all my gear. It has my family's emblem. What if these creatures know who I am? It's so amazing that you ransack that Ash Drake ship all by yourself. <laughs> I shrug. I'm a performer, you think of things on the spot. <laughs> Persuasion with advantage. <laughs> Uh, twenty, uh, twenty-two. <laughs> he goes along with it. All right. No, he he you he picks up what you're throwing at him. <laughs> so uh, there are two more other chests, and there's still the beds. Uh, uh, there's still the bedding that is actually prepped and looks like something has slept in it for quite some time. I'll do a survival check. Uh, it would be a survival check on the beds, right, to figure out like what might have been there. Yes. Okay. I'll do that because that's I'm better at that than investigation. Uh, survival check eighteen. Eighteen. I'm sniffing it. I'm sniffing the pillows. <laughs> Wait, we've got kids aged between thirteen and seventeen living alone on this ship. You do not want to smell these pillows. I need to know. (laughs) No, you don't. All right, well, let me roll and see what's on here real quick. How many crumpled up tissues or used socks do I find in this (laughs) recipe? God damn it. This one's got lipstick on it. It just says adieu. (laughs) (laughs) There's a story here. (laughs) Stumbled onto it. Son of a a bitch. All right, well. uh, hmm. You're still getting that. That battery, like, ammonia-esque smell coming from the bed. Uh, you feel like you, like, lace your fingers across, like, the cu- uh, the comforter of it. Hmm. And you're noticing that there is an etch, like something was sleeping there. Uh, though it kind of looks like how a person would sleep if they were adorned in a coffin. The body was held in this position. Uh, you're looking what appears to be a more stubby, like... Very, very small, very stubby version of what looks like a child. Like, even smaller than a child like for a human. So, you're looking at something that's, like, maybe a halfling, maybe a goblin. Could be a child dwarf. Could be a... I don't know. It's, it's a very small human. Hmm. But stout. Like, they... <laughs> Does sound they like... Smell dwarf. like ammonia. <laughs> they, everything smells like cat pee. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Tabaxi were here, too. <laughs> uh, Everything smells like the itter box. <laughs> so that was on the top bunk. On the bottom bunk, it's bowed in. Something bigger was here. Like a, a full-size person was here. Oh, wait a minute, I say. Someone small on the top and big on the bottom. Rock might were you guys snoozing in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, this one's smaller, I think. No, this one, you don't know how to describe this shape. It's like, for once, when you like look at where like the shoulder and the elbow would rest, it's well over the side. Like, an arm would hit the floor if a person of this magnitude had tried to sleep in here. And then, one of the legs is smaller because you can see like where the kick is on one leg on the left side, where like the heel would rest. But then there's like an imprint of where the big, where a bigger leg actually goes outside of the bed. We found a giant's corpse on that first ship we met on, right? On Goliath, yeah. This guy's kind of. I mean, but this thing only has one leg or 
a one big leg and one small. Either way, its gait is awful. Mm. <laughs> Maybe it was peg legged. Maybe. All right, uh, uh, Nedra. While you guys are doing this, is going to take a look at one of the treasure chests all the way in the back. All by herself. All by her lonesome. Let me. Uh, I don't like that smirk. <laughs> we we <laughs> healed her up after the the manipede problem, right? Yeah, she yeah. should be back up to full. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Roll the seventy-five on severity. Great. No, that's good. That's oh. high. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Remember, high rolls equal less severity. That makes, like, very it's little real, sense to me, but really it's okay. It's really confusing, but don't worry about it. But Zito's the only one who has ah. to roll them, and yeah. he's been consistent with it, so... <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. It's a World of Darkness and uh, a D20 roll that okay. I picked nah. up. I, re- I really liked it. It was just like, it, it adds like a sense of like, yes, I, oh, fuck, wait, no. <laughs> like sort of yeah, I've, mentality I've play, I've to it. I played with crit tables before. They're fun. Yeah. So uh, she just like, she lets out like this girlish scream and jumps back. I immediately jump to, uh, there's a cat in there. That explained the cat ah. pee smell. You, uh, she just, like, points at it. She just, like, jumps back. She's just, like, she wasn't expecting it, but then she, like, looks back over into it. Do you yeah. look inside? Yes, absolutely. I Dark Souls roll over there. <laughs> roll a medicine check. A medical check, great. Yeah, vampire cat, vampire cat, vampire cat. Bad. Uh, 14. Well, she's kind of right. Because a part of it is a cat, but then another part of it is a raccoon, and then another part of it's a possum, and then another part of it's an armadillo, and it's kind of laying on the floor. It's still alive. It looks at you guys, but it looks like it wishes for death. Ah, It's probably the possum side playing dead. This thing is stitched together horribly. There are entrails leaking out of this thing. Poor bastard, how many of your nine lives has gone through this? It's a classic case of cat, adillo, possum, coon, de, dead Z's. Yeah. <laughs> I, I asked Nedra politely to turn away for a second. Why? This is cool. Yeah, I, I just need to make sure this thing isn't suffering anymore. Okay. She, she's watching still. Maybe All right, I got, and I got more healing. Or <laughs> I, I, I already rolled. <laughs> I roll? rolled a nineteen to hit, <laughs> or not nineteen to hit. It's uh, it's twenty-seven to hit. Sorry. Yeah, you hit this thing. Yeah. No fucking problem. Shink. <laughs> so you you punch this thing. No, I st- I'm stabbing. I'm not touching it with my hands. All right, you stab it with your spear. It's still moving. You what? You cleaved right in at the midsection of this creature. It's still moving. And then when you do so, there are torpedo snails. When you remove the when you remove the the glaive, the glaive part of your spear, inside the creature are torpedo snails. Jesus Christ, that's a I retract my offer to heal this thing. Well, maybe the healing thing would you know what I don't know. No, Rock <laughs> actually looks to you. Well, I would if you have a way to heal out, not by not touching it, that would actually be quite beneficial to the scenario. Oh, that's so fucking gross. <laughs> All right. Well. If you are if you are unaware, healing while it works in beneficial to those of the mortal realm, any of the undead or anyone of infernal nature, if they are touched with healing light, they actually take damage. So that actually would properly exercise this creature. I could just put this torch in there and <laughs> might just like grabs your wrist. Okay. Pulls it back. It's just real bad. I don't like it. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, but I only got so much healing, and if a torch will take care of this thing, that's like the same effect, but less resources. Rock will then look to you, and then allow me, sir. He, like, pushes you aside. You watch him as he, like, kind of, like, pulls his, uh, pulls his, uh, like, falconeering gloves, like, down a little bit further. You watch as the inside of his hand begins to form a light, uh, a very like small aura of light around it. 
He doesn't touch the creature. He grabs the edge of the chest, and you watch as the light starts to envelop inside of it. You hear this thing go... <laughs> the light disappears. He rears his hands back, and there's nothing but ash inside. Well, that was grotesque and another terrifying science experiment. Someone oh. here has been going a little crazy with the stitching. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. <laughs> I heard Kitty, and I was going to name it Pistachio, and now I'm just disappointed. Mm. Well, let's, uh, I guess there's one more chest here. I... You open it? You, you know what? Before you do, I cast resistance on you, just in case. <laughs> Appreciate you have it. to roll a saving throw. <laughs> what are you doing to open it? I mean, does it just kind of open? Like, I don't know. You didn't try. Okay. <laughs> I am going to attempt to just kind of jab my spear towards one of the latches and pry it open. The opening parts. You know. Yep, yep. So I a need a little leverage in there. Roll me a so sleight of hand with disadvantage. So that the mimic doesn't try to eat me. All right. Why do you assume it's always mimics? Because <laughs> yeah, we met like eight in the course so of a week. I know, and they're all back on the ship, and you never used them since. <laughs> we get rid of waste. <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect reminder. Let's see, uh, sleight of hand with disadvantage. Oh, sorry, disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Fifteen and oh, fourteen. Wow. Uh, plus sleight of hand, so that would be a nineteen. A nineteen. All right. You find a good place to edge the blade in, and you start prying it open. It opens just fine, but oh my god, the smell that comes out of that chest. If you just opened that with your hand, you would have had to roll a, a con save. But you just immediately just go, no, nope, oh, nope, no, no. Something, something's dead in there. Some, something's dead. Something's dead. In there. In the box. Dead. Dead. Rock. Will attempt to do something here then. He will slowly lift it up just a little bit and then usher his pseudo dragons to slip inside. They're probably not right. Mm. Okay. Got these smelly dragons. One of the pseudo dragons comes back out with a writhing kidney. Okay, mostly dead. Hmm. Probably. Another one comes out. With a writhing lung. Like human sized or? Yes. Are these like. They're moving. They're undulating. They look like. With. If. And perfectly fine working organs, but they're just not attached to anything. If we collected enough of these, could we make a body for Scaffy? Ooh. <laughs> Is this what happens when you're an organ donor? <laughs> like. You can... watch. You watch as the little uh, pseudo dragon just turns to ash. I mean, that one's not good anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, none of these are probably good at all. Honestly, they're the probably The creature all climbs here. back up on Rock's shoulders probably. and chitters something into his ear, and then he nods. Uh, he nods as if he's understanding the creature. There's something about this chest that's actually keeping pieces still functioning. They're all random assortment of other creatures' body parts. So does that work for anything you put in the chest? I'm uncertain. I kind of want that box. It does seem like it could have some uses. I'm trying to think of a single one that's not horrible, and I'm sure there must be one. Well, but I mean, if, if it preserves things, let's, it's... Let's say that we're... There's no one finding a similar pattern in most of these things we find, yes. I mean, there's a lot of horrible... That they're grotesque and terrifying, and someone is here preserving things. A hodgepodge of stitches, a creature, a man I mean, made you... out of multiple pieces of other creatures. Someone is making flesh golems. I mean, you did talk about that one, dude. I, I was going to throw that out there, but I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try to break a bigger hole in the side of this ship. What side of the island is this, sh is this facing? It's facing the shaded part. Okay, so the side opposite the Yeldon. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try to break a larger hole in this wall just so I can shove this box out there. Roll athletics check. All right. Uh, that is a 16. 16? 
I'm All just right. saying, you're juggling your dagger, things get a little loopy, and you accidentally lose a finger. We got a box that'll keep that finger just fine. I mean, we might be able to find a new arm for Scrung. Hey! Oh, that's... Now there's an idea. You try to punch the outside... Uh, you try to punch the wall to try and make, like, some kind of hole in it. Nothing doing. It's actually pretty sturdy. You probably hit, like, a support beam or something. Ah. All right, Nedra, a little help? Okay, here I... It's weird. Normally you, you, she you, finishes you, that sentence. You okay, Nedra? What is what, what is happening? Do, like, she... She's frozen. She's not moving. Okay. I'm going to investigate Nedra. <laughs> with an eight. <laughs> I'm going to do a medical check on Nedra with a... 17. Her body is seized up. You almost feel like... She looks like she's frozen. Like, in place. This is some kind of paralysis. This isn't good. Trying to keep calm, I look over to Rock, Might, Red... Uh, anything uh, jumping out at you? Is this a vampire trickery? This certainly is. All right. Well, at least we've got the experts on the case. <laughs> everyone is... I want everyone to roll a perception check with disadvantage. Disadvantage, okay. Man, on my disadvantage roll, I got such a better roll. Uh, perception... 12. 17. 11. <clears throat> Red actually points it out. She looks to the ceiling as something scutters away, and you hear something go, thaw, thaw! She runs back outside. By this point, all of the torpedo snails are out converging around that pool of blood as something leaves up the staircase. Oh, we should fuck. Probably pursue that. <laughs> Since it left, how is Nedra doing? She's still... Here I go! What? Glad to have you back, Nedra. We gotta, we gotta move. Something, something scurried away that way, and it's probably something you can punch. Oh, okay. You, you watch as she runs back. Roll another perception check real quick. 16. All of us? Yep. Okay. Uh, with advantage, or with... No, uh, just, just, just regular. regular. Okay. Uh, that is a 18. There was a dagger sticking out of the back of Nedra's neck. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and... Ow. See whoever we're chasing, I think he put this in your neck. She's frozen again. Wait, when she, when I took the dagger out? Yep. Hmm. I'm going to examine the wound, see if it was uh, poisoned. Yep, medical. Yeah, I, I, yeah I'm going to do the same thing for uh, the dagger. 17. Oh, yeah, this thing's laced as some kind of green goop. I'm going to get into my uh, med kit and see if I have anything, any kind of anti-venom that might be able to counteract it. If you don't have anything, uh, Rock and Might might have something. Uh, is there, like, how much? How much of the stuff is on the dagger? It's still the I'm whole holding? blade. The only thing that's not covered in it is the stem of the blade. Okay, so might I be able to collect some of this in a jar? That's a really high medical check. Might as well really, check. really high. All right, give it a shot. I've rolled worse. I've definitely rolled worse. Uh, Medical, that is a 21 modified, obviously. All right, 21 modified. Let me see here. With as much time, it's been, like, airborne. Like, the blade has, like, like so far, like, if this thing was drenched in it. But as time goes on and air, like, kind of, like, touches the poison, it actually, like, goes away, and you're not able to get enough to get a good sample. Ah, damn. So it's very, qu it's very quick reacting. That and a bunch of it's in Nedra, I guess. <laughs> yeah. On a nine medical check, am I able to do anything for her wound? Uh, you're able to, like, prevent it from continuously going through the body, but she's still kind of stiff. <sighs> this is some kind of paralytic thingamajig that I've never seen. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you've... Uh, so with that, like, you've never seen what kind of creature actually secretes this poison or where it even came from or how it was made. But this stuff, from what you're able to actually get out of it, this is a natural poison. Something created this. Oh, I'm going to survival check the hell out of that thing. But there's not enough, like, the samp, like, with him cleaning the wound and, unfortunately, most of the poison being put inside of Nedra's body, 
you're not going to be able to get a really good check on it. Like, probably finding another... Oh, no, I mean when we find this thing oh, and oh, kill oh, it. if you find... Okay, I was about to say, like... <laughs> no, that, that moment's passed by now when with Nedra. This creature. Yeah, my, my herb lore is pretty limited to species found in and around Old Lady Big Rock Mountain. This one's new on me. I don't know. Anybody else got any bright ideas? I don't think it's a normal... Uh, based on what we've seen here, I don't think it's a normal creature. <laughs> Roll a knowledge check, Ezra. And that one. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking about something else. Never mind. <laughs> All right, so... You watch as the creature went upstairs. There's still another room that you could enter, but that one has way more snails converged on it. However, there is a path for you to go up those stairs. Oh man, I was hoping that I'd get like all the snails in that room towards <laughs> that blood. Oh well. Um, I think looking at that room alone, just looking at the hallway. So. I'm going to describe it as you're watching as the menacing words from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is emanating from that room. That's how it feels to you looking in that direction. That means the cool shit's in there. <laughs> That's the optional boss. <laughs> think, that, think that sunlight bug of yours could maybe light up this dark room for us and maybe scare away any untoward creatures that might be lurking? Any chance we could, you know, fix Nedra first? <laughs> After a while, she's fine. Okay. She's like, she's like, you, like, you, she, like, you okay? Come on. Yeah, up. like you slap her a little bit in the face, and wake she's up. like, wow, wow, well, okay. You okay? Are, are you Ow! Feeling? Now she's feeling the pain. Okay. It's about right. I kind of I kind of just hand her a rag, just like, here, just, uh, you just put pat- some pressure on it. Yeah, she does so. Yes. But whatever it was, that shit was quick, fast acting, and very effective. We're going to find what did that to you. We're going to kill it. Harvest its I'm going to harvest every <laughs> single organ it has. And then we're going to see if my, if my alchemy jug can synthesize whatever it was. <laughs> and maybe we can keep the stuff functioning because we can put it in this trunk. <laughs> ah! You did. So what did you do with the trunk? You, did, you were going to attempt to put it outside. It's still in the room. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, so how big of a hole did we put in this ship here? Like, I'm guessing it's kind of like a porthole size hole. Yeah, about. All right. Obviously, ships are meant to withstand cannonballs and shit like that. I'm not. I'm not optimistically thinking that I'm going to be able to break through this thing that easy. Thing. But not. A, not with the amount of time you're on this table with. All right. Well, I will defer that for later, as there is more pressing business yeah. to be. All right. So, what are what are your, are your options, boys? Well. I, I'm I, in favor of going after the thing what just stabbed our friend here. I like that idea. I am of the mind that I think we are going to run into it anyway. Okay. And that that room holds a lot of mystery. The scary dark room. And we are here to investigate. That's true. Uh, Might and Rock look to you. Shall we investigate the door then while you find off with our mysterious bandit? Mm, yes. Are, are you sure you want to separate like this? Wake says it's kind of <laughs> hey, wait, buddies. I I feel like we've got a, a passive threat in that door and a thing that we know is after us up those stairs. I'm I guess that door is not going anywhere. Yeah. Like All right. If if we if, we could come back for that door later. If you guys want to, you know, investigate it yourself and see what's in there, you know, probably some cool stuff. No, like and Rock just looks to you. Well, no, it probably would be smarter if we stuck together. You were yeah, right. I agree. <laughs> I agree too. <laughs> So, you guys are going to go up the stairs? Yes. Uh, what's the starting order? Um, unless the Ashdrakes attempt to take the lead, I will lead, because I have a torch. All right, so since you're in the front, you take... Uh, so, please... Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> oh God. Please line up uh, how your, your characters are going to be. Uh, I'm guessing Nedra would be either... Next to me or in the back. Although I'm guessing Might might actually be in the back. Up to you. Yeah. I'm I good. need I need a scout with dark vision, so maybe you second. What up? Nedra third. Eloy kind of keeping things. Copacetic in the middle. Red and then uh rock, rock and might. Rock and might. Okay. Does that seem good to everybody else? Yeah. 
works for me. All right. I'm in the most protected position. I like this plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my only other thought is maybe moving Red close to the front just since he has more knowledge on the stuff that we're dealing with, as would Rock, but okay. I'm fine with this. Seven. All Seven. right, one quick thing. Actually, yeah, keeping, uh, swapping Red and Nedra might make sense here, just in terms of Nedra being able to take up All the right. Vanguard so, and Red being able to blast anything that's in front of us. So, this is going to happen to Might as well. I need Wake to roll me a con save. You do get plus 1d4 because of that resistance I cast on you. Ha uh-huh. All right, let's roll that con save. I'll add the d4 anyway, but I rolled pretty damn well as per the use with that dice. It fell over the other side. Oh, it fell yeah. over the other side. Looks like you got a 1 on that. On the D4. <laughs> yeah, on the yeah. D4. Uh, so that makes my total con save 22. All right, well, Ezra, was that knife in Wake's shoulder there for a hot second? Like, it just showed up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, Wake. What? Uh, you seem to have something sticking out of your shoulder. There's something there. That's a knife. Huh. Now, the second we took the knife out of Nedra, she kind of got stuck. I hold I hold up the uh, other dagger that I pulled out of Nedra. It's the same. Ow. Uh, You're fine. <laughs> Smells the same. There's huh. might with one, like, right in his throat. <laughs> Just kind of toss it aside. It didn't even pierce, like, the tip only got stuck there. It didn't even pierce his skin. Huh. Well, whatever this is, it's very sneaky. Therefore. I look around with a 21 in perception. You could have sworn you saw eyes off in the corner where the door was. You saw the shape of what looked like a very small goblin before it slinked away into the shadows. We have a tiny goblin. His name is Skrung, and he's missing an arm. Show some respect. (laughs) This is a different goblin. Oh. I don't think I like this goblin. Whereas Skrung, I know I don't like him. (laughs) (laughs) Well, if we got boys coming at us from the room and the stairs, I'm starting to maybe come around to the idea of tackling this room first and not leaving something like that behind us. I look down over the side at, like, the mass of torpedo snails that are in this area. Yep. Uh, might want to use that lamp, then. Uh, might pulls out the uh, the sun stag, tosses the jar over. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, not to oh. you. Into the corner. He, like, right. rolls the bottle into the corner, and you actually watch as what looks like a shadow of a very small goblin like, winces in agony and screams out, Ah! And it disappears. Just, like, fades from existence? No, it, it looked like a shadow against the wall, and then when the light was there, it tried, it jumped out of the way. I attempt to and you hear follow... And sk- you hear skittering now, like, on the walls. All right. Perception, I'm keeping, I'm trying to keep my eyes on it. Uh, Roll modif- the advantage. Okay. I don't know if I'll get better than that. I rolled it twice. Modified 20. Modified 20? You're now, like, what... The, the noise now has a shape as it's running across the ceiling, upside down, running away from you on all fours. Hmm. All right. It's going towards the back end of the, of the group. Like the, where we, the way we came in? Yeah. Uh, how far away from me is it? Is it within 10 feet of me? Like, when, when, you, it, when, it, when it started skittering back that way. When it started skittering, it is, it is 10 feet away from where Red is right now on the ceiling. That way or that way? Uh, towards the back. Towards the back. Okay, but when I first caught eyes on it, like when it I was saw in it, the corner over here. Yep, it just ran up to the ceiling, and its end movement is now where red is on the ceiling. Okay, because if that's the case, I have a ten foot reach on my attacks. Could I get an attack of opportunity on this thing? Sadly, no, because okay. the ceiling's a little higher. Okay. With a good jump, you could probably reach, but that's still a jump. Yeah, but that's not an attack of opportunity. Yeah. yeah. From base position. It's keeping its distance. It knows what to do. I ready my crossbow. Uh, you have to roll me a perception check to see it. 
with Ooh. advantage. Well, hey, don't need that advantage on a nat 20. You can see this thing clear as day. It is a very ragged and sickly looking goblin child looking at the rest of the group with knives at the ready in its fingers. We've got a little goblin kid looking uh, pretty worn down, but I don't know. It's, it's stabbing us. <laughs> I don't feel good killing kids. Me neither. That being said, I pull out a silver dagger and I pull out my, or no, not it's not a silver dagger. It's a uh, mithril dagger and I throw it at it. All right. <laughs> Uh, roll to hit. Uh, 21. You hit it, and you see blood splatter on the floor. Awesome. Do you want me to roll damage on it, too? Yes, or is please. It... Okay. No! The ah! ship timber! <laughs> ah! Shifted so it's on an even plane. Uh, damage is a 7. Seven. All right. You, Just you see, you see the blood splatter from the ceiling, and you now watch as thou your dagger is floating in in space right now, somewhere as it's like flailing back and forth as something's still trying to run away from you. But you hear a small child go. Ah! That you hit it. You hit the kid. Do I see the dagger floating around? Everyone anywhere? can see it now. Heat metal. Heat met. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now you know why I plan these things. Yep. <laughs> this so is a combo attack that worked before. Yep. <laughs> With you doing that, it now turns bright red as it stops, and it looks like whoever is, tr like someone is trying to grab the metal and burning their hand in the instance as well. Rock is going to summon his pseudo dragons to shoot fireballs at it. <laughs> That hits. I'm guessing not the actual spell fireball, but just balls no, of fire. You want like you watch as like the, like piranha plants. Yeah, like the little the their little chests puff out, and you watch as their throats like start to emanate a light, and then they just go bam, and it just goes like you see watch two fireballs just escape piranha plant style. So they're basically flaming loogies. Yep. Well, I'll be dipped. You killed him. No, you didn't kill him. The boy is dead. Yeah, you well, the, killed uh, this the child. heat metal did eight damage, by the way. Mm. I don't know if we're tracking this. Points, this thing but. fucking falls to the floor. There is now there is a goblin kid now, just like holding the side of his body. Like he's trying to pull the dagger out, but nothing doing because his hands are burning. Uh, he he's trying. To, he's like what, he's then also trying to tend to his arm as it's now like has second degree burns all across his forearm. Anybody want to restrain him real quick? And then if you try to heal him, we can at least see if he's uh... Uh, Mr. Might, would you be able to remove the curse from this child? If we restrained it? Uh, Rock then just looks over to Might. Yes, go ahead. Restrain, uh, please restrain the vampire. And Might just like adjusts his little wig. I say it's a good day for a spot of ultraviolence. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking frog splashes yeah, on it. Yeah, just fucking frogs, frog dives on top of the kid. Grapple check. Oh, with a nat 20. <laughs> okay. So you just watch this giant orc man fucking swan dives where this creature is. <laughs> grabs him by, like, his entire hand picks up the kid's entire body. Right against the wall. Neat. <laughs> the, the goblin kid is trying desperately to try and bite onto his flesh. You're watching as, like, the fangs are out. He bites right in between the, the pivot point where the webbing is of your thumb and your finger. Okay. I know, Jezra. Little does he know, my skin is extra thick. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> I know, I'm his biggest fan. The kid <laughs> chomps down. And with Might's AC of 35, that's nothing doing. <laughs> Super <laughs> thick. <laughs> teeth just shatter. It's like biting into like... Yeah, the uh, kid's uh, teeth goes in, but he can't get out. It's like biting into a sheet of rubber. <laughs> Ultra violence achieved, yes. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
uh, so now you have this kid uh, latched up against the wall. You see the daggers dangling, like, out of the side of, like, where Might's fingers are. In between them is, like, two daggers sticking out, and that green goop is falling out of it. Huh. Wait, the kid is emanating the green goop? No, he, the dagger, like, his dagger is poking out in between his fingers. Oh, uh, okay. So, you found your assailant. All right, kid, what's the, what's the deal here? Why, why, why is stabbing so much? Come on. <laughs> Come on! He looks like he's not talking so much as he's trying, like, with no avail to try and pierce through the skin. Like, he's going for something. Obviously, you believe he's trying to go for the blood. I pull out a jar. Junk. We gonna feed this thing? We gonna get that duck ghost of Santa Clean Heaven yet? Okay, stop, stop, stop biting and talk normal. Eloy, you want to stop your spell? I don't want him to die, die. Uh, I, Again, I, I guess. maintain concentration on the spell so I can heat it back up at oh, okay, will. Cool, but yeah, I I let the uh, the temperature subside on the dagger in him. Like this kid was super fixated on making sure to bite the skin. And now that you showed him the bottle, he's all eyes on that. He wants that bad, but he can't get his teeth out of Mite's fingers. All right, come on, you just got you just got ah. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's stuck. Like his his upper jaw is stuck. Good. I'm not sure how to help this, really. Um, Mike's oh, my... taller than me, so I can't just like go over and adjust the kid's head. E All right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mike. Boink. Just like try to pop the like jaw out Athletics, of his flesh. I mean, uh, acrobatics. Acrobatics. All right. <laughs> do 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 do. Uh, acrobatics of a twenty-three. The kid gets your hand with his fangs. Ah, bastard. All right, fine. Don't want the real blood, huh? Trying to get the fish man blood, <laughs> jerk. For seven points of necrotic damage as your hand feels like something from the inside just popped a blood vessel. Ow. The kid licks his lips just like, more, more, please, I need more, more. Doctor hasn't come by yet, I need more. Doctor. Give me more. Hold on, I wrap my hand. All right, yeah, hold on. Let's look up. I'm holding up like the jar. Matei, Matei's not here. Dr. Gustav's not here. Give me the drink. Look up. Ah! Say ah. Uh. Say it. Ah! I pour a little bit into his mouth. You fool, that makes him stronger. Probably. You pour, how much do you pour in his mouth? I don't know, quarter, like, Eighth of a cup. He's lapping it up. He's just like, ha, ah, ah. Like, th this is like when you're so fucking exhausted after a really good hockey game and just downing Gatorade. That's how this kid's this kid is right now. Better? No, need more! More! Oh, this poor bastard. Is there any way to, like, fix him? Like, make him better? Rock is going to do an arcane check on him. This is a thrall. The only way we're going to get him to talk is if we actually feed him. He looks like he's been blood starved for years. I just keep pouring. He's he's you're actually watching as like his complexion is turning a more vibrant shade of green as the more blood he's consuming. All right. How are you feeling now? I want I need more. I have I it's been he like he he tries to look at his hand like he's like attempting to count like you see his little fingers through one of Mite's like slits between his fingers. He's like this many, that many. That's a lot of many's. This many. That's many many's. How'd Gibby you... hadn't had drink in years. Gibby hadn't had drink in a long time. Long long year. Good. Give Gibby more drink. Were you not able to get into that room? What? No, Doc, Mr. Doctor Gustav said no, and and best friend Matei said no too. Give drink, please. All right, I pour a little bit more in his mouth. What's Matei like? Matei? Oh, he best friend. He best friend. He makes sure we all get what we need. He he bring the doctor here. He makes sure we're all good because we used to have another best friend, but he left us here, and now we're stuck here. I need, I need more. I'm so, I'm so thirsty. Yes, here you go. Here you go. I just keep pouring. It's like more of the jar. You're now at jar two, and he's still oh. looking for more blood. 
Am I willing to go to Jar Two? <laughs> no, you. This is Jar Two. I would have. I would have said if I opened a second. Jar. Oh, okay, yeah. So Jar One's gone. Okay. You have now finished Jar One. All right, how many friends do you have on this ship? And I tell you, you're not Rumblood. Are you sure? Well, I I, I'm not, but we have associates. Yeah, I look over to Rock. <laughs> Rock's just like, oh. He like just like, he like shows the banner. You, you rum, you, you, you know, what, what's the catchphrase? What catchphrase? Well, that's easy. And then Rock just looks to you like, fuck. <laughs> Come on, I, I, I. <laughs> Do you want a knowledge check with disadvantage? Better than not. <laughs> uh, 16. That's not bad. You mutter into Rock's ear. Grown ups suck. <laughs> grown ups suck. Uh, grown ups suck? Oh, he know. He know. I told you we knew. I told you. He we know! Knew. Yeah, he know. Okay, then we, we, we have. But if, if you come, wait, then why you come here? Mr. Mate and, and Dr. Gustav said that no one from Rubbloods would come. That's why he came to help us instead. Oh, he lied. He's a bad man, actually. That's not true. He, he makes sure that we get all of our good drinks. We don't know how long we've slept so far. Oh, exactly. But those good drinks, you, have you noticed how bad you feel without them? Yeah. And how he hasn't been around to give you more? I don't, uh -huh. I don't know. What, how how long has he not been here for? He not been here for a long time. I need numbers. This many. I hold up ten. Persuasion with disadvantage. Fourteen. Uh, Kid rolled an at twenty. He knows you're full shit. See. Sounds like your doctor gave you something that was free at first, that made you feel good, but pretty soon <laughs> you start taking it not to feel bad, and that's no good. Here, have some hit. I was just getting ready to say. <laughs> meanwhile, we have a friend. Well, what happens if we dose this kid? <laughs> Speaking of the first hit being free... On a very special natural wonders. <laughs> Kids, this is what addiction looks Severity like. roll. <laughs> How much of that hit oil do we have? I don't have any on my inventory. I haven't kept any I was I was just goofing. Um, I do not actually have any on me. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it would be pretty easy to go back I, and grab I have, some. I, like, I have, like... A little bit of it. Just, I put it in my inventory <laughs> for some reason. I'm guessing it's, like, one dose but now I kind of want to mix it into this blood we have. <laughs> How you feeling, kid, kid? Maybe should have asked his name at some point. He said his name. Oh, did he? Yeah. I missed it then. Uh, he said his name in, uh, in haste. Ah. See, now, Ben, you've put me in this predicament because now, now because of how you said it, it with such conviction... Even though you don't have the item, I kind of want it to happen as well. We all we all oh, have a, we all have access to it. Can. I think it would make sense to have some. Okay, we can retcon that. That's fine. <laughs> we all had the ability. See, to that happen. was a good persuasion. You fucking even convinced me. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't need to roll. That one was so good. Okay. So. By the way, yes, I have taken one of the bottles and made it hit infused. <laughs> How'd you do that? Just by taking whatever oil I had and dumping it in and whoosh, 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 whoosh. Are you trying to be sneaky about it? Or are you just doing I'm it? I'm not giving it to this kid. <laughs> yeah, he's got it. We, if, if we have our own <laughs> source of hit, uh, he has used his to mix with one of the bottles of blood. Meanwhile, it seems like Eloy just... Handed him a sample. <laughs> Here, have some hit. <laughs> Unless you actually have it in your inventory, I kind of can't go with that. <laughs> I didn't right. actually write it down. Okay. 
then sorry, no. I okay. hate to be I hate to be that asshole, but I'm just like nah. that has some high repercussions and a lot of <laughs> severity rolls. Some high repercussions indeed. Hey. <laughs> Alrighty, so Okay. So now I lost my train of thought because now this is all fucking just like <laughs> the, we... the thought is swirling in my head now. You fucking derailed the session, Ben. Thank you. So, uh, the, so the kid's uh, being detained by might yep. and has told us that there's the doctor and yeah, his Dr. Friend. Gustav. Yep. Yeah, Dr. Gustav hasn't been here for a while. He was looking for a number. To st He was looking for a number, and he knows that you guys just got, like, based on that role you got, he's, like, he's not convinced to speak to understanding anything you're saying to him. So he, you, you tried to like say like he's a bad man, and he's just like, nah, dude, he's not. He's actually he's taken care of us more than anyone else has at this point. But time has kind of lapsed from him for a little bit. Well, we've been Rumbloods for a while, and we've never heard anything about this. You place. can't be Rumbloods. You all look old. Well, we were Rumbloods. It's been a long while. We came looking yeah. for you years ago. We finally found you. Again, with that role you got, he's not paying attention to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's dismissed you this as... This is a, a completely different lie. <laughs> <laughs> but he has now dismissed you as being untrustworthy. Yeah. I mean, how would we have how would we have the the uh, the cloth with, with the emblem and know the password without having been Rudbloods, at least at some point? But that don't make sense, because if you were Rumbloods, we would have put you through... We would have put you through the clearance test. Yeah, but you've been asleep for a long time. So long that the clearance test might not happen anymore because it sounds like something we don't do anymore. That sounds so weird. How can that... We... No, that don't make sense. Roll persuasion with disadvantage. There was a revolution. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 15. This kid is so confused, and due to the fact that, like, you just, like, snap some kind of consciousness back in him with the dose of blood, he's he's so hazed as to what's going on. So <laughs> much, Apparently confused. to him, so much time has passed that even he doesn't know what the fuck is happening. So he's been in a blood, like, blood frenzy for years, and he doesn't know where he is anymore. He does know that there are other, are, are other people on this ship. He at least gave that much information to you. Hey, uh, M Mr. Might, do you happen to have any, like, vampire anti-venom, by the way? Like, I gotta hold up my hand there. Oh, dear, this, this poor child has been this way for so long that we'd have to kill the head vampire in order to turn him back. Well, I think, wait, I meant, like, for bit. me. <laughs> oh, for he, he looks at you. Oh, you'll be fine. Spawns don't usually pass on the vampirism. They can't. Oh, oh. <laughs> Victory for Wake. Yep, so you just found out that spawns don't pass the trait, only the actual vampires do. Well, if we can find a way to keep him from doing anything, we can go take care of the big vampire and put an end to this. See, uh, Rock and Might and Red kind of just go, see, that's the problem, Wake, is that we kind of can't detain a vampire. We have to kill it. Mm, yes, uh, she, she's quite right, mm, indeed. Do they have, like... Can you not just tie one up? They have so many ways to circumvent that. Hmm. It, like, all three of them, all the vampire hunters in this room are just like, no, this kid's gotta die. This kid has to go. He's been a, he's been a vampire... He's been a spawn for far too long to keep him around as a liability. I could... I could work my convincing song on him. That that'd keep him for like eight hours. If we can't get this head vampire by then, we're probably not gonna get him. I mean, that's a fair point. Uh, Based on how this, like, like they, like Red and Rock, kind of like pulled everyone else to the side since like Wake and Might are kind of like looking at this kid right now. Yeah. So he, they kind of like pull you to the side to try and like converse with you. Mm-hmm. Well, but, well, how long did that manifesto say that this has been around for? Like 40 years. This kid's been on this ship, Bloodstar, for 40 years. 
the only the only way we can make this right is a quick and swift mercy. Even if we did try to convince him, it could all be undone. We don't know the extent of this kid's powers. Yeah, but we could also be, you know, helping this kid after he's been suffering for 40 years and uh, give him his life back. We don't know where the head vampire is. We don't even know if this Matei or this Gustav could be the head vampire. And we don't even know where they are. By the way this sounds, these children were left to rot alone. Well... Let's try and reason with him and see what we can get. Let's give it another shot. Maybe we can... I mean, he didn't start jumping us until we had been here for a while. Maybe we can figure something out to, to just pacify him for, for... To at least give us time to investigate this place properly. And if we can't find a way around this, we can deal with it. Meanwhile, Wake is rooting around in his bag just like... Hmm. What if You're, I snap the head off a dagger and we use it to, like, you know... Stop his teeth from doing things, and we just kind of like wrap it up and like I'm just looking at Might. Do you think that might work? <laughs> You're asking Might to break his canine so he doesn't bite. Well, no, not break the canines. I mean, like you know, gag him with it so he can't like bite. And I mean, well, he can't pass the disease anyway, right? No, he can't pass the disease. But the fact that he has these, he kind of like rotor rooters and like pulls out the daggers. We can strip him of all his possessions, but he is still a vampire. It's still quite dangerous for him to be roaming about, even if he is held together. He's just a kid, though. A 40-something-year-old kid, but a kid. I mean... It's not like there's people Ethical on Ethical dilemma theater. <laughs> it's not like there's people on these islands. Could he not just, like, get at some wildlife and just... Man, that sounds real shitty, too, when I say it out loud like that. <laughs> Nedra kind of looks to you. Did you see that plant that bit my head? I bet it eat him first. Yeah. Plus, I don't think it has what he's looking for. <laughs> Plus, if they go outside, they just poof, don't they? I mean, unless it's nighttime. During the daytime. It's daytime outside right now. Yeah, but it's not always. Fair. Could we, could we rig a device with one of these bottles of blood to just give him a little bit of a drip over time? <laughs> Why well, we just like strap him to a table and just slow it? <laughs> there are operating tables back at the beginning of the entire session. I mean, yeah, there was just like the one room over. Yep. Man, none of these options are sounding more merciful. I'm. Mike, can you just hold him here for, like, a day? <laughs> and we'll see what's down below. Sure, that sounds like poppycock, yes. Yeah, I figured you wouldn't like that idea. I'm, I mean... I mean, this is the longest time I've ever held one. I usually just snap the neck and be done with it. Decapitate the head, stake it through the heart, burn the, burn the body, and there, that's all she wrote. They don't really write about the times when you guys killed kids. <laughs> oh, no. We don't Wake's, feel... Wake's vision of us heroes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, Rock looks over to Wake. We find no joy in doing this. I look to Red. Red's also just like, no, this is... This is... The way this kid is right now, killing him is the only way we're going to be able to get rid of this. We have... Either we... Find, there's a sliver of a chance that there's a head vampire on here that did this to them. If we can kill them, they'll be cured. But again, that's a liability, and they've been on here what for how many stab years? stab him with his own daggers? <laughs> All right, look. You mean, Even if do you mean to put him back to sleep? Just for like a night. I mean, it's daytime. Shouldn't they be sleeping now anyway? Yeah. It's past your bedtime, young man. It is. What? Don't start acting oh. like a grown-up. Grown-ups suck. It's really bright outside. <laughs> All right, eh. look. Even if it's only a slim chance, it's it's the best chance we've got for him. I cast suggestion on him. Uh, I suggest to him that never needing blood is just as good as having all the blood you ever wanted. And we're his friends, and we want that for him. He should help us make that happen. Okay, so what's that role again? Because you're doing this against a vampire, and they kind of have resistance to charm. Uh, well, it's a wisdom save, right? Yeah, I think so. Yep, that's a, a wisdom save. Wh I mean, if they're 
If they're straight immune, they're immune. I don't know. I how didn't say immune. Do. I said resist. <laughs> okay. Well, then so. yeah, he gets a wisdom save. That's against a DC 15. It matched. Oh. Well, attacker wins. Yep. No, that you win. Yeah, yeah. Wait, oh. no, yeah. no, no. Yeah, you you match the save yeah. and you make it. Like, yeah, that yeah. Is, right, that, right. that's how it works. Yeah, yeah. He if he rolled a fifteen, then he makes his save. <laughs> yeah, he had a minus one to his wisdom. That's the problem. Oh, Just like man. he had a sixteen. I'm like son Ooh. of a bitch. Yep. Yeah, that would still make. Well, that sucks. But <laughs> I know there... we tried. I don't like hurting children. Can we? Neither maybe do in... we. But again, we're like. Unless we can find some way to put these, put this kid into a state of slumber, that's the only way we could probably. It's it's he's, a uh, he's being held right and restrained. Would attacking being him be considered a coup de gras? At this point, yeah, that would be a straight kill. Not uh, my like intention. Red, red and red and rock are just like the only other way we can see this. We don't like doing this. No vampire likes doing this because it just means that we're leaving things up for chance, but if there is a way we, like, in the long run, we can put him back to sleep or in a state of stasis, but then we, st we still have no idea if the head vampire's here, so we don't know if he'll be cured or not, or even if we do find one. Well? I... Fuck. <laughs> I am rolling to subdue, <laughs> knock him straight unconscious, with a nat 20. So while everyone's discussing that, you just hear a meaty crunch <laughs> as Wake's, his palm is yeah. in this kid's face. Basically, you just hear him say, I'm sorry. <laughs> nat 20, that's 2d6. Poor old Gibby just, no, don't, don't even roll. Oh, okay. Gibby just fucking, like, his head just, like, limps to the left. I mean, there's no point checking for a pulse. He's a vampire, but... Wait, do they have pulses? Like, do they... I don't know, know if they're thralls, boom, 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 boom. I don't know. They don't. <laughs> He's unconscious. Very, very unconscious. Do we want to tie him up and leave him somewhere? And yeah, he could break out of that eventually, but it might give us just a little bit more time should he uh, wake up any time. Well, Red and Rock look to each other. Well, we could attempt the right of we could attempt the right of stasis, but at the same time, if we do that, we're going to be someone's going to be stuck down here doing that. I don't so, want to three. Not it. <laughs> well, you can't do it. Only Red or or Rock can do it. I don't want to lose either of them. They've both been invaluable. Let's. Why don't we take a break here real quick while we decide that for later? <laughs> that makes sense to me. We'll see you right back at the table. Welcome back to the table. So we're deciding on how to deal with this unconscious child. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> you have two options. Uh, one, which is the easy option, is to kill him. Or the second That's option easy. is to put him in stasis, but that will leave one of the vampire hunters behind. Wake is personally for stasis. <laughs> Yeah, I can't argue against it. So leaving a, one of our vampire hunters behind to just watch the kid? It's, gonna, it's going to leave Might as the restraint. So Might and one of your other vampire hunters is so staying behind. So we're losing behind. two teammates to keep this kid alive. I mean, how long does stasis last? Like, is it like kind of a ritual thing where if you're... Like is doing it, long like as, as long as you're doing it, it's happening. Yeah, or? as long it's it's pretty much a seal. So you're putting the kid to sleep. You're putting this kid into a necrotic sleep for 24 hours, and it has to be constantly like you keep have to doing the ritual to keep him in that state. I mean, I kind of put him to sleep pretty like my my ritual was significantly quicker. I just <laughs> pop, but like I don't know how long that lasts. I'm no, guessing but, a few hours. Well, here's the thing: you probably like he'll probably be out for like a few hours, but at the same time. With this stasis thing, it's actually keeping his body, like, on ice, so he his hunger never grows, he never needs a bloodlust, so the moment he wakes up, time will have never passed for him. I'm just gonna throw this out there. If he's gonna be out for a few hours, I'm hoping we aren't going to be in here that long. Yeah. That's that's kind of where I'm at. I say we just trust yeah. him up real good. I mean, I'm pretty good at knocking people out, right, Nedra? You have done it before. Yeah, she agrees. No? <laughs> what? Yes, I am! 
We, we find that master vampire here. Hey, great. We come back and he, he's a, a good old boy again. Well, also, uh, real quick, I, I don't know if we've really talked about this. The idea is if we're going to leave someone here with stasis, like if that's part of the plan at all, uh, Rock might. If that's the decision the group comes to, you're not really one of us. <laughs> so I don't know if, like, if you would even feel like keeping that end of the bargain if you already want to kill the kid. We don't want to. Rock is now telling you, it's like, we don't want to. We don't want to kill this person. It's it's a thrall. There's a way to be saved here. Right. But it's, if in the immediate vicinity, it's going to take up a lot of time and resources, and that's something we don't have. It's finite. Well, if, if there's even a sliver of a chance that I can get out of here without murdering a child, I'm going to take it. We, we would love that as well, but our... The main reason why we're here is to find this man. We were hoping that this place would leave a clue. We're not really 100% certain if we could find this Gustav here. Are you okay, the two of you, Rock and Might, fine staying behind if we go to investigate to keep this kid in stasis so we can all avoid the idea of getting a kid's blood on our hands? Roll a persuasion check. Uh, 25. Mike got a nat 20. Let's see what Rock gets. Rock got a three. <laughs> he got a rock. The butler's like, I don't know, sir. He's like, absolutely. <laughs> that, like, Rock kind of, you could see the hesitance in his face. Mm -hmm. He's just like, this is part of his job description. He has to make these tough calls, but he has to make it. Like, Rock is ready to just be like, I mean, uh, Might is ready to just be like, no, let's just fucking end this now. He's been doing this shit yeah. for years now. I'm He's gonna... been around the block, but Rock is so brand new to this. He's just like, I suppose if there's a way we could try to save him, that if you feel this confident that we'll be able to find the head vampire in here, then fine, we'll put him on stasis. Great. See, I knew these guys were heroes. <laughs> uh, real quick, I try to pull Red aside. Also, uh, since we rolled the sun stag over there, yeah, all those all those snails I'm guessing are dead. They they all inched away, or whatever that wasn't there just started to melt away and shit. All right, You're so is, the, so the is the that door here. like accessible now? No, damn it. Okay, <laughs> the light's not that big and bright. No. Anyway, I, I I try to to sneak red aside basically, I don't, uh, without noticing uh, like others noticing. Is that going to be a stealth check? Yeah. Okay. I'll roll one for her as I don't, well. I don't want to uh, say what I'm about to say to her and have the others be able to catch on, so I do want to get us away. Um, uh, modified 20. Yeah, you both kind of like slink away from the group for a hot second. Okay. All right. Now anything we find, they won't be privy to. We've got both of the asterisks out of here. Regardless of whether or not we can help this kid, we have at least made sure that any information we glean is for you alone, and we can, you know, keep this between you, your order, and everything. Just wanted to make sure that if anyone was staying behind, it wasn't you. <laughs> Fair enough, and thank you very much for that. Obviously, if we can save the kid, that's great, but I'm hoping that I've minimized as much damage as possible in at least setting up the scenario to be like this. You have, but it doesn't look good. If you want my honest professional opinion, I don't think we're finding the head vampire here. Well, at the very least, we can go to bed saying we did the best we could. <laughs> That's very common to my order. It's a very hard and very difficult decision to deal with for all of your life, but... And I, I am sorry that this burden had to be placed upon you. This is not something that needs to be... This is not something that your organization needs to be a part of, and yet now it is. It's real unfortunate, but we can't undo where we are. <laughs> and uh, my my idea is to at least make sure everybody feels like we tried our hardest I at will, the very I least. Will make, I will make sure the volition pays back in some sort of way for your organization. I'd greatly appreciate it. But all right, all right now I'm no longer trying to be all shady and yep. back talking. And I'm just like, all okay, right. well, if we've got this, we need to hurry because we might, obviously Might and don't... Rock will stay behind to put the kid on stasis. Thank you so much. It's gonna separate them. Mm, yes, well, I suppose we wouldn't be the blast tricks if we didn't try to help others. <laughs> yes. They're so cool. I, I motioned to Eloy. <laughs> you watch as now the the little pseudo dragons are now like 
spinning up molten lava and making a pentagram in the floor for the ritual to start. That's pretty metal. As much as I want to stick around to see this happen, I think we should keep moving. I agree. All right. So you All guys right. are heading upstairs? Yep. All right. No. So yeah. who was second? It was... Uh, uh, I believe it was Ezra that's yeah. second. Yep. So let's just leave you two up there first. Oh. Yeah, before we uh, before we ascend the stairs, I do drop another resistance on Wake if he's still taking point. Yep. All right. Oh, I also take my Mithril dagger back from the mm-hmm. child's side. Okay. That is fine. Uh, you and Ezra both climb up the stairs... This room is covered in blood. Completely dripping and sogging with blood. Oh man, maybe the kid could have like, like he didn't have to go he didn't even have to go that far. What this is, is not uh it's dried. It's not okay. fresh. I mean, you can still like scrape it and like you know, I'm not, I'm not. Looking on the floor, your li- the light uh that you have in your hand is showing that there are broken shells all over the floor, so someone has been eating at the torpedo snails in an attempt to get blood out of them. I mean, I don't know how much blood the torpedo snails got either, so... There is another staircase that leads up, but in this case, it's leading into the ground, and it's completely broken with rubble. Okay. There is another door to the side of you, and you can't tell, but there's another one off in the far distance, but this entire room actually looks like... There are pieces of warped other ships, and even, like, pieces of uh, bayonets and guns are now sticking out of the wall. Like, Hmm. someone set up this place to look like it's a trap. Well, if they set it up to look like a trap, then Uh, what are the odds of it actually being being one? Being a trap? I like your angle, Wake. So let me go ahead and just draw that real quick (laughs) of what you say. Okay. All right, well, now that we've got this, it makes me wonder if, uh, oh, man, there's, if there's booby traps everywhere. When you get a chance, I will perception this area. Yep. I'm sorry, I could not draw any of this until you guys actually got up here. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. All right. Uh, So so what are these circles that we're seeing here in the middle? The circles you see on the floor, they, so, you know, like a test, like, you know, in the 1960s, the Tesla coils where it's just like a giant pillar with the three circles draped around it. They look like the big circle is that sticking up out of the floor, but it looks like it's rusted and like tilted to the side. So even if this thing did turn on, it looks like it wouldn't even activate in the first place. I got a seven in perception looking to see if there's anyone in the room with us. Seven in perception? Yeah. Uh, nothing but a bunch of torpedo snails and a couple of uh, skeletons on the floor. Yeah, as I'm waving my torch around, my perception check is a uh, 22. 22? I don't, like, I probably have, like, vision of, like, this area here if this place is dark because I don't have dark vision, but... Uh, a lot of the stitching that's holding the metal against the wall, it looks the same as what was holding that hodgepodge of a creature inside the chest together. Mm. Couldn't be another mimic, could it? Guy's not only a biologist, but is also an interior decorator. It's not a very good one. No, because a lot of the uh, dried blood drawings are the rum blood's uh, emblem also. Hmm. So a lot of the dried blood on the walls, there's some dried blood on the metal pieces, some on the guns. This place was meant to intimidate people from coming in here. So this space actually looks stitched together. Yes. When you're stuck with a fixer-upper, you do what you can. All right, well, before we crawl through that, I point at, like, the Tesla coily looking area. Why don't we look at that? I point at that door over there. At, if you move, if, I'm just going to say this. If you guys start moving anywhere, everyone else can start coming upstairs. So yeah, that's okay. fine. Yeah, dup, yeah, dup, we dup, start dup, making dup, dup. Our, our way slowly towards that door. All right, I need both of you to roll a deck save. Figured. Plus that D4 I'll take. Uh, where'd 12 D4 for go? me. There it is. All right. Uh, modified 20. Wake, you're dodging this no problem. Ezra, unfortunately, 
Look out! Yep, you watch as a bladed swing trap comes from the ceiling. <laughs> and yeah, you duck out of the way and yell, watch out. Yeah, go, you duck out what? of the way and ah. watch out. You, unfortunately, are taking the full brunt of this as this hits you right Great. in the stomach. Uh, and pins you against the wall all the way in the back. <laughs> Pong. <laughs> Doing that. Captain down! Oh, Holy shit! <laughs> Ten points of damage. Woo! Uh, no! That thing is pinned in your gut, and you are against the wall. Pencil? Oh, I got go. one right here. Oh. Yeah, we good. There goes my last temporary hit point. <laughs> Luckily, you still have that con bonus, so you get the plus six health. Oh, yeah. And all of you watch as now every snail in this room notices the new fresh blood splatter. Shit. Okay. Create a create a, uh, a perimeter. I'm gonna go help him. <laughs> Surround me with fire. Purifying. Don't place. put me on fire, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to attempt to like dislodge this thing from his gut. That's a medical check. <laughs> Really, just tugging this thing out? <laughs> Dude, I mean, if you want to get it out with hurting anything. <laughs> if you want to do an athletics check, he's going to take damage from it, though. <gasps> Fine, medical. <laughs> That's okay, I'm all right. Don't worry, Captain, I got you. Uh, <laughs> 17? You called me Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm not actually dying, but it means a lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you you find a way to like dip the blade just enough that you can pop it out without Soon. actually doing any more harm. Mm. All right, oh, that wakes you up. Huh. How far does the hole go through? Like, is it like it didn't make an exit point? I'll give it at that. <laughs> but my entrails are leaking out. <laughs> yeah, I worry about your organs. <laughs> There's an entry point, but it's very small. Like, it's slim. Okay, so it was a dullish blade. Yeah. Okay. We got lucky. If this thing were sharper, he'd be dead. <sighs> well, when's the last time he got a tetanus shot? Because that blade's rusty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that just got a little too real, because my doctor told me last week that I need to get Oh, Jesus, shot. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> God. Nah, it's fine. <sighs> oh, man. All right. Uh, well, throw <laughs> up some dirt on it. We got to keep going. This seems... <laughs> I don't have enough rags to give you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm standing there just like shining my lantern around, trying to keep the snails at bay. Yeah, you and right. you and Red both. She's got uh, fireballs at the ready. I have I have a um, some some extra clothes in my disguise kit, so I'm just going to basically take some cloth and try to just roll a medical. Really tightly suture me up. Great. Uh, fifteen. You stop the bleeding. Okay. Well, we're not bleeding Shit, anymore. Shit's but... uh, kind of painful to walk around, but it's still that blood's not Ugh. going anywhere. All right. Now, back to what I was doing before. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't exactly comfortable, but I'm not leaking. I am going to attempt to open this door. Is it locked? Uh, No, it is not locked. All right, then. You touch the handle. I did. Roll a con save with disadvantage. Disadvantage plus a d4. Uh, unfortunately, the D4 only works once. Oh, only more. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully I just roll all right. I rolled all right. Uh, 18. My other roll was a uh, 19 on the die. This won't be too hard. Your hand is now covered in ice. Huh. <laughs> oh, you can turn, but you hear cracking, like <laughs> visible... <laughs> Cracks appear in your wrist now. Ow, 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 ow. No, I mean, like, that's going, like, breaking the hand kind of crack. <laughs> huh. The hand will come off if you continue. Well. <laughs> Start running over there. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, right, right, right away, my initial, uh, my initial thought is use my elemental attunement to just try to, like, heat the uh, metal of the thing. Like, I can only do Arcana. so much. Okay. <laughs> Not my best stat. <laughs> uh, ten. <laughs> the door is on fire. You got your hand. No, you get your hand off it. 
But boy, howdy, does that look like a nice big piece of permafrost. <laughs> mm. I'm just going to continue warming my hand. This will take a bit. Just gotta thaw. You turned the door, but you didn't turn it enough to actually open it. It's still there. You now look on the door as there's a rune. An elvish rune for ice on the doorknob. <laughs> hey, Red. Could you mage hand that doorknob? She will try. She will... You watch as a purple, uh, purple hand kind of materializes before the door, grabs it, it also turns to ice and hits the floor. And Red looks at her hand like, I felt that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I am going to attempt to pick up one of the torpedo snails and just throw it at the door. <laughs> I just want to see if it's anything touching this door that does it or if it's the doorknob specific. Let me roll and see if the torpedo snail gets a bite on you. What is your AC? My AC is an 18. Nothing doing. Yeah. Whoop. It sticks to the door. Does it turn to ice? Ice. All right, so don't punch it. Gotcha. Hmm. With your current state of your hand, you are now taking a minus two to strength. Minus two to strength? All right, I'm going to continue focusing on thawing it. Uh, how flammable would we say this area is? Is this all, like, wood? It's covered in dried blood. It's covered in dried blood. There is wood. You are standing on wood, and that area just has a bunch of shrap metal just, like, hobbled together. Gonna... I mean, I could send an explosive crossbow bolt into this door and just blow the whole thing open. <laughs> if it doesn't freeze the wick. Mm, that's true. We could set the explosive crossbow bolt right at the foot of the door. That's more... Yeah, that works more. <laughs> Because initially I was like, I'll just tell Scaffy to turn the knob, but that'll freeze him, so. You hear giggling. You damn kids! <laughs> yep, you hear a small girl's giggle. <laughs> Look, we're trying to help you! Wait, where's the giggle coming from? It's coming from the ceiling. Nothing doing. Natural wonders, nat one. <laughs> I was gonna try to perception that. Oh! <laughs> Nedra will try to see if she could. No, nat one. Fuck that. Hey, wow. <laughs> that is my apprentice. Red. Red can hear it as well, but let me roll to see if. No, she actually can pinpoint where the giggling is coming from, but it's coming across the room. I got a modified 20 on perception. Does that do anything for me? Yep. You see what looks like a small... You you and Red take out the shape of a small halfling girl in a very tattered dress standing at the opposite end of the hallway. And she puts her... She looks to you two both and goes, shh, as her hand shows ice over it. And then she runs into the room to the side. Hey, the, the doctor sent us, kids. If, uh... If you remember the doctor, he told us to come here and, and, and check up on you. Nothing. Ah, let's try. All right, I'm not done with this door, because I have a stupid idea. Go for it. Using my elemental attunement, I am able to manipulate uh, basically elements within a one-foot cube. Right. So, if I were to say, take some water from my bottle and try to put it into the... Uh, Either the seams of the door or the, uh, oh god, what the hinges. Right. And they were to freeze, they would then expand, therefore weakening the door and or breaking it entirely. I like that idea. I'd like, uh, so what does this entail for you to use? Like, wisdom, whatever, or is it just like a standard thing you have? It's just a, it, it's a standard ability, kind of like, uh, I'm guessing thaumaturgy would be the closest example I would give, be able to give, except I'm okay. physically manipulating, like, it's kind of like prestidigitation, only like, I'm the avatar. Okay, I'm going to give you... Or a... thaumaturgy, but I'm the avatar. Alright, I'm going to give you one of these options to try. You can either sleight of hand, or you can arcane. Well, which <laughs> one does the guy with a plus five dex want to do? <laughs> I'm going to go sleight of hand. 
That's a modified 20. Modified 20? So I'm just trying to like get water into, basically just taking water from my water bottle and, or water skin, and just just putting it into the seams of the door. If you guys I can, watch if I can see any seams. There is now like, there's now a new layer of ice that thaws, o- that uh, that kind of like layers over the seams of the door. The ice is growing. It stops at a certain point, but there's it, now. Do, do I see any like difference in the door? Like when I get it in the seams, it's like. Let me roll something real quick. You hear audible cracking from the door as the ice layers over. I need more water. Well. Red holds up the bottle of blood. It's not a full moon. I can't bend blood. <laughs> God damn it. That's for everybody at home. <laughs> uh, I, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll attempt it. I don't know. There's I, water in it. I got a water skin. That might be simpler. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Here you go. All right. I take the water from the skin, and I basically try to do the same thing. All righty. Uh, sleight of hand check. Wow, that's really good. 22. The ice now layers over the top of the doorknob. Like, that's how far it goes out. And you actually see, like, the metal has kind of warped almost enough that the doorknob could actually be pushed off if it, with a nice, chunky hit. All right, I'm going to smack it with my staff because it's already a magic item, and I'm go for it. assuming that it'll resist. That'll be athletics. Athletics? Remember, minus two. Minus, uh, is that minus two to my, like, just base rolls. stat? To rolls. Okay, minus two to rolls. Gotcha. Yeah. Ouch. That hurts a bit more, but that's hopefully my roll made up for it. Uh, athletics plus four. 22. 22? Yep. You uh, take your staff. <laughs> you uh, you hit the doorknob off, and the uh, the latch that still remains kind of like wiggles out of the door and falls over in the inside. There you go. Check it out, kids. We solved your little puzzle. Damn, I hate children. Yeah, and all you got was my hand. (laughs) (laughs) Red kind of like looks over at you. I'm working on it. Do you mind if I attempt? Sure. She pulls out a fireball. Uh, Okay. (laughs) I mean, I I was doing it kind of gradually. Like, we're going straight seer method here. (laughs) Yeah, no, you're just like, okay, I... Like a band-aid! (laughs) <laughs> now it may hurt now, but it'll lock the flavor in. <laughs> God damn it! Five points of fire damage, but your hand is back to its normal function. Thank you. There, Red looks over at Ezra. <laughs> You're was, welcome. Was that on purpose? No, no, of course not. Okay. Looks over to Ez- looks over to Ezra again. It was. It super was. <laughs> ah, it's blistering. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm the door's st- filled with ice, though. It's kind of like frozen to the side. You oh, you knocked the door handle. Like- you pretty much knocked the rune off, but now the ice is kind of layering it. All right, I'm just gonna shuffle kick it because it's probably shatterable by now. Athletics. Oh God, it's a super kick! Uh, 13 plus 4, 12, 8. Oh, athletics, sorry. Uh, 19. He rises to adjust the map. Yep, I adjust the map. Treasury dues. Three treasure chests line the wall, but there seems to be like bubbles. Oh, we ain't done. Hold on. 
Hold on. We oh, are dear. not finished here. And perhaps a square. There's and more to be done. Rectangle. Oh, there's there's more terrible things to be had. Oh, good. I'm glad I shuffle kicked this door in. Yeah. See, what we don't realize is this places us directly over the scary door on, on the floor below. And it that, does. Yeah. I mean... All we have to do is burrow through the ground yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> now I just drop an explosive bolt on the floor and blow a hole in. Now we're dive bombing whoever's Money. in there. <laughs> Sorry, gang. Uh, here we are. I found him. Any excuse to use an explosive bolt, really, and I'm <laughs> looking for it. Crammy. Some shambling figures. Skellington. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, so as Wake's sweet chin musics the door in, what do we see, Zito? Well, sweet, uh, sweet chin that door in, all of a sudden, you are now face to face with what looks like corpses uh, on crucifix hanged against the wall. Mm, a familiar setting. Uh, there are... Very, very small etched emblems. Some, uh, by looking at them and seeing them so far, there are Ludarius medals that are etched into the flesh of rotting corpses that are hanging off the wall. So this is like real familiar. Are you sure? Like, this is like the same thing, right? Uh, there is also one that is on the uh, what looks like an operating table in the middle, and there are two extra crucifix that don't have anyone hanging off them off on the side of the wall from the door you just came in. And what you see before you are three treasure chests. Some of them, well, they look like they have been used, like they have been beaten in. Like they look like someone has actually attempted to try and break into these things beforehand, but to no avail, and the chests still remain closed and locked. All right, this is horrible, but there's boxes. There are boxes, and it seems like all of our possible assailants are at least attached to crucifixy. So uh, they're not alive. They're they're all they're all just dead, hanging from the wall. Okay, does anyone want to keep an eye on them while uh, we open up some of these boxes? Sure, I'll I'll keep an eye on these. All right, cool. I'll do it. Red, I mean uh, Nedra just wa- moseys on in, takes her bat, and slugs one of the corpses. Oh, well, all right. Hey, you know, I guess that would wake it up if uh, there was any hope of that. Well, let me roll for her. With a nice hefty swing, off goes the head and knocks her along the wall like a handball and hits the floor just stationary. I think you just invented golf. <laughs> I am going to cut off each of their hands. Roll medical. All right. Starting with the one that she knocked the head off of. I just take out my dagger. And first one, wow, 19 on the die. That is a 22. You carve the hands and the body hits the floor. <laughs> huh, wasn't secured at the wrist. That's a bad crucifixion job. <laughs> as, as he's doing this, Eloy's just going to keep his eyes fixed on the top of the door frame. By the way, I only want one hand. One hand from each. Oh, you just wanted the one hand? Okay, so then... Now he's dangling. Yeah, now it's dangling. Cool, all right. Well, the uh, first one's dangling. Now you have to... If you want to do it for the second one, you got to roll it. Yeah. 17. Whoa, 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 whoa! I just want your hand. It tried to go for your jugular as it goes for a bite, but then stops moving. Fucking rude. I'm gonna go for your friend on the table, then. Turn around. Rude, stupid thing. Uh, 18. It grabs your wrist. Takes a ni- it grabs your wrist, pulls it down to its mouth, and takes a nice hefty chunk. This thing is not strapped to the table. Only by its legs is it strapped. And Edra, can you hit this one like got its hand off? How much damage did I take? Alrighty. I need you to roll a con save real quick. Oh wait, does uh, does it just fucking get me, or does it have to hit me? Like it grabbed my hand. I'll I'll, I'll willingly allow that because no, I'm going in there. No, it has to hit you. It has okay. to hit you. I have to roll that, but I also need you to roll a con save. 
Well, if it doesn't if hit it, does me, then hit. it doesn't bite me. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but I think a 24 does hit. Yeah, I believe so as well. <laughs> Con save, save my life. Uh, oh, wait, I should have been adding that additional plus one, shouldn't I? Uh, 19. 19? Uh, yeah, no, it, you... This thing bites into your wrist, and you pull it away just enough to see that there's, like, green goo coming out of its fangs just before it enters into your bloodstream. Oh. It has the stuff. Mm. Never uh, hit it real hard. You are taking seven points of damage from that, though. Yeah, that's cool. While this is going on, I went to the... Uh... It, it now it now topples over the side of the table, trying to grab at your legs as it's still attached from the heel on this operating table. How much of its hand did I hack off? Not enough. You no. you you pretty much slit its wrist before it actually started moving. But um, okay. I, I went to the leftmost treasure chest. Uh, I was going to announce my perception roll to like try and look at it to see if any, it was like attached or anything like that. Uh, but I got a nat one, so I just figured Ezra saw nothing, so he's just yep. going to go for it. You're just gonna uh, open that and, up? I, and I did a sleight of hand, and I got a uh, 28 on that. You open it up, roll a con save as the entire thing is covered. It, not even covered, I'm sorry. It is filled to burst with limbs. Well, great. My con save is uh, plus, six. Uh, don't forget the plus one from Grammy. Yeah, so, so yeah, adding that in, it would be a seven. Yeah. A seven? Yes. It's probably still not great, but you know, the plus one's a plus <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a failure. <laughs> Figured. <laughs> that's a failure. So, okay. Yeah. yeah, you open it up and, uh, hmm, the nice wafting smell of still moving yet decomposed limbs. Hmm. <laughs> oh, found another one. Yeah, these ones are moving too. God damn it. All hurt. right, so with that, you are taking. <laughs> you are taking eight points of damage as you throw wow. up, and I will not tell you the effects of what you contracted until you make a certain roll. That's fine. Eight points of puke damage. <laughs> No, that shit enters your throat. You actually feel a layer of skin peel out from the back of your throat, and I you cough was, blood. Was I chewed up some jawbreakers before? So now it's oh. like I'm throwing up shattered glass. So oh, it's no. Just <laughs> cutting up my throat. That, that, that aura and that smell that entered inside of your nostrils, you just felt a layer of skin peel away as it went inside. <laughs> All right, so I'm guessing... Also, after getting stabbed in the chest and now doing this, I'm not feeling too good. <laughs> I'm guessing since this thing's surprise round is over, we're doing initiative now. <laughs> No, it, as oh. long as you don't choose not to attack it, it's just on the floor going... Does it seem... like I mean, it did a decent chunk of damage it there. It did do a its... decent chunk of damage, but it can't move. It's still bound. It's bound to the table by its feet. So it's kind of just like laying limp like... Huh. <laughs> I don't like this room, guys. <laughs> Now, these guys don't smell too much better. I, I'm going to vote we leave this room. There are two more chests, Still though. More so many possibilities. <laughs> Did, you know, we're two for two on just the most horrible things being in chests. I'll do here. it. Nedra walks over to one. Oh, Thanks, Nedra. On, Ned it's good to know you're part of the team. Hold on, Nedra. Can you crush this thing real quick? Just straight smash its head. Oh, okay. Not 20. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Gallagher's the motherfucker, and... Gonna stand over to the side of the wall and just watch the magic. Okay, well, the first attack is doing 18 points of damage. <laughs> and now for the second attack. <laughs> not a nat 20, but it's still hitting. Five. That's 10 points of damage. So, yeah, what you just said <laughs> Gallagher's the zombie. <laughs> And snails start coming out of it. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just burning the snails. Snails are now on fire. All right, snails are on fire and hand. <laughs> With my continued, I think it was an 18 check. Or do I need to make a new You'd one? You'd have to make a new one. Okay. Sorry. 15, then. Yeah, you carve the hand clean off. All right. Add it to my belt. I got... Uh, 
Red I just looks at you like, wait, why are we doing this again? <laughs> yeah. It'll make sense later. You know what? I'm going to trust him. <laughs> now, uh, someone want to open one of those chests? I think I've had enough fun for a, for a room. Well, now Nedra's <laughs> going to open the last chest over there. I... Oh, Ezra, I did not join this crew to be the responsible one. Nedra, hold on. Resistance. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? What? what, what? <laughs> she opens it up. It's gold. There we go, Anna girl. It just happens to be next to the one that's trying to bite us. <laughs> it's just sitting there. <laughs> yeah, that one is still attached to the wall, still trying to get it. Nedra, like, <laughs> look at him try. I'm armless. <laughs> He's trying so hard. Have you guys noticed, or if you would like to roll a perception check? Modified 20. 11. <laughs> Another nat one. My These boys on the terrible. crucifixes, and even on the operating table, if you look at certain parts of their bodies, they look like they've been hodgepodge together from other creatures. <clears throat> one leg looks beefier than the other on the one that's on the operating table. Its head didn't, we used to, <laughs> look like a human being's. And the chest cavity almost looked like something out of a Goliath. But again, the stitchings, this time around, though, the stitchings are the emblems of Ludarius. Not like the metal that's been outside and down below. Well, I got someone who loves Nedra playing operation. And opens up the chest. Just full of gold? She pulls out gold, yes, but it's full of these emblems. But it's still gold. Yeah. No, nah. you find... That um, all spins the same. You, you find 300 gold in this chest. That's Ooh. not bad. And... You want to hold on to it? Times Here, just... 40 holy symbols of Ludarius. Are they made of gold? No. No. They are made of brass. Are they like how how much do each symbol weigh? Like a pound, something. Almost a pound, yeah. All right, forty pounds of brass. Melt that down. We'll have something to trade. Got there something is to feed the Elden. There is one more chest we in the middle. We have a middle chest. Well, we cleared the thing that was going to be bothering us. I'll go ahead and open this one. Resistance. <laughs> How many of those do you have? How many that, of those do you that have? Cantrip? That's a cantrip. Well, yeah. perfect. That's a that's at will. I just have to. It only lasts a minute, it. so I have to know that you're going to be doing something within the next minute that might call for a saving throw. That is efficient. All right, I will. Uh, do I need to roll anything? Like I'm just gonna. You're just gonna open it? Yeah. Well, he needs to roll something, which is never good. Unless it's the treasure die. Should have figured. I rolled that sounded a nat one, so go ahead and open it. Ha ha! Should have figured. Yep. One and three would be safe. Yep. You just opened it. Uh. There are more body parts, but they don't smell. And they're not living. They look like they've been mummified. These look like parts that were used and then not properly, like, did not fit the bill as it, as it was. Like, everything else here looked fresh and looked like it still was usable, whereas these parts look like they've been disposed of and they're, like, shriveled and kind of, like, embalmed. Though, these actually have pieces of what look like other like they look like articles of clothing so like there's a torso with a man's toga there's a there's an arm with a person's ring i take the hand okay <laughs> roll medical I'm just lobbing them off at the wrist guys remember when mr rattles was the scariest thing i know uh, that feels like a long time ago. <laughs> it should. <laughs> uh, med medical 14. Been at sea for a few months now. <laughs> it's been a while. You pick it up. <laughs> and I take the ring. <laughs> you take the ring. It has the symbol of the calls on it. I like that I have you worried about why I'm taking these hands. <laughs> <laughs> I am worried. I can't wait for your special attack, all hands on deck. <laughs> <laughs> I assumed it was uh, finger bones for your key making ring. Mm. Boop. <laughs> I thought you were going to throw it in these chests that seem to preserve things and make your own army of scaffies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, look at that. We got gold and you got a fancy call ring. That'll, that'll probably be uh, good for our ambassador friend Calliope to show off to him. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be happy to know that one of their people died. Well, you know. It's just, get it back. Yeah. It's a vampire, you know. It's fine. All right. Well, we've Ongoing got, uh, investigation. 
got this room figured out. Uh, yep. Take care. I wave to the one that's just trying to bite at Nedra. I uh, hope you feel better. Do you, do you want to die? Do you feel anything? He's with me. I know it. He's with him. He knows it. Uh, is that a yes? This is an adult thing-ish, right? It is. Okay. It's a person. This looks like the corpse of an adult human man. Remember, etched in Ludaria symbols. All right. Well, uh, I'm just gonna, I just kind of hold my uh, try to like my spear up to its face. This is gonna hurt for probably never. I don't know. I don't know if it, like, it, does it feel pain. I don't know. I don't it know. is bound. You can coup de gras it. Yeah, that's that's my attempt here. Coup de gras with a 24 to hit. That hits. Shunk. Surprise. Well, you sever right through the neck. Shunk. You take the head like as if it was just like taking it off a platter. <laughs> Hold on, I'm, I'm, just, just for flavor, I'm gonna try to Kobe it into the one with like the, just kind of Kobe it into the, uh, <laughs> using my spear yeah. into the uh, open to box. Shoot it into an open box. Dex check, Kobe. Uh. It was okay. Uh, <laughs> 14. Kobe, the god of good shots. It's on the rim. In? In. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Dead. Cool. You look inside. Does anyone look inside? No. You know <laughs> I, I, put it in, I put it in the one full of dead limbs, by the way, not the living limbs. Yeah, the dead limbs. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure, I'll look in. You, uh... It's been stripped of flesh. Well, that's a scary box. Also, it's been stripped of flesh, and whatever skin is on there has hardened and blackened. Oh, that mummifies quick. Real quick, I'm not going to try and glean any extra information, but you did say uh, I wouldn't know what contract what I contracted unless I got a certain role. Am I feeling anything? Like, is there? Any oh yeah, no. You feel like there's something gross inside of you okay, right, right now. Okay, I just wanted to make sure if if I am there is, at least there is aware a, that something is amiss. You you can still is, function. But. Like you feel like your motor functions. Like nothing else is going on, but like you just get this sixth sense that like something is inside okay. of you, right. just not feeling right. Mm. Feeling okay, Captain? I mean, you look a little uh, green in the not gills. Not, I don't know. You don't sure, have any of that. Apt, apt analogy, I guess. But no, I'm, Eloy, I really don't. Feel Roll another perception good. check. Uh, twelve. Hmm. You see the little girl again. She's standing right next to you. No! No! Sh I'm sick of this! You okay, Eloy? Huh? There's, a, there's another one of them. The, the, the spooky children's. She just went away. She's oh, a half no, one this time. Rock! Bite! The, is the kid still with you? No, this was a different one. Uh, never mind! Different kid! Sorry, Paul. It's alarm, but not the same kind of alarm. Nedra's the last one out of that room. Yes. The door, the doorway is now covered in ice. After she leaves? She didn't leave. Oh, God, Nedra. I just mm. broke that. <laughs> Nedra, you think you can smash your way through there? It melts. She's gone. Oh, I really don't like this boat. Nedra! Nedra! I look inside. Nothing. Nedra! Eloy, what did you see? I just saw a spooky little halfling girl. She was telling me to shush. Oh, that's not creepy as hell. Got oh, it? you just walked right there, huh? Okay, stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm just walking right. Nedra! Okay, well, Nedra, as one of the guns, fires at you. Does a 21 hit? Certainly does. Net! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and tell me how much damage it does first. Sure thing. Five points of damage. Net! Ping! 
Nedra! <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of bad as I'd stop it! <laughs> Nedra! Nothing. Oh, no. Red is going to roll an arcane check to see what the fuck just happened. That one. <laughs> Guys, I'm starting to turn around on this whole not murdering children policy. <laughs> I'm a step here now. Wake, I feel like this is very I think, dangerous. I think everyone now needs to roll a will save as you all begin oh. to hear humming in your minds. Nedra! Will save. Well, that's not great. Uh, Woo, net 20. I don't care what you're doing. Uh, seven. Uh, <laughs> would this be considered a charm effect? Because I do have no, advantage it was not. on. Okay, in that mm -hmm. case, 12. Mm -hmm. Yep. You all start to hear this low pitch humming in your heads. You, however, <laughs> do not hear this at all as you look off to the side and there's a small halfling girl touching the machine. Only you're seeing this hmm. as I mean, everyone like, else now starts looking at the machine. You kind of can't stop looking at it. Ned. I ready my crossbow. As the. As, hold on, I gotta okay, do their, go, go I gotta ahead, do sure. their damage first. You're all kind of staring at the machine as the rings begin to lift up and start spinning. They're forming a face as the faster it goes, almost like that picture thing when an when something right. goes by too fast. Yep. It's a, it's a little girl. Her she parts her hair away and shows you a warped, twisted face that almost was a grin, but then starts to bleed away as your minds all start to take psychic damage. They're hyper-realistic. Uh, uh, all right. That is nine points of damage to everyone except for Ezra. Jesus. With my crossbow. And you must mm -hmm. now all, as uh, as much as you can, get right up next to it. Well, I'm standing right in front of it. <laughs> if you would. Clippity cloppity. Clippity cloppity right there. I'm guessing red as well. Yep. Well, no, you. Got, she has to get, like, in there. Well, yep. She's going to have to get yep. cozy. And one more quick thing, as you all get so close to it that you hey, are now putting you your faces into the spinning metal. No! Hey, that seems real bad! For three more points of bludgeoning damage. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> it's like, it looks so horrible, but I must know more. <laughs> and Ezra, you're so watching as the, the row of guns is now getting closed in. I don't like you this one bit. shoot that girl. Yeah. <laughs> yep, so let me go ahead and put that token there real quick. How's everyone's night, by the way? <laughs> yeah, it's going all right. I'm dying of something, and also dying in general. <laughs> I got, I got uh, two hands, and I threw a head in a basket. <laughs> There's the small halfling girl. She looks up at you. She giggles. Her entire complexion is pale as shit. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> well, she has her hand on that thing, so that leads me to think that she's the one powering it. So I start aiming my crossbow, uh, particularly like at her hand. Go for it. Okay. Roll the hit. Fuck me. Uh, uh, that one? No, not that bad, but just as close as you can get. Um... <laughs> So, with everything, even with all my bonuses, I think that still only gets to eight. Yeah, that's about right. You watch as your arrow turns to ice and then shatters right in front of her. Damn it. That would have been, well, now even an explosive bolt would have stopped the fuse. All right, I need everyone to roll a will save. That one's better. Uh, 21. 18. Well, you don't have to. No. I need everyone else. 13. 13. And red. Nope. Everyone wake breaks out of it. Ow! Fuck, that was a terrible sh You're watching as the guns and the spikes in the wall are now dangerously closer than before. However, red and wait and uh, Eloy are still kind of entranced by all of this. Uh, have I noticed that wake is yep. awake? Yep, yep, you... You actually, there's you, a girl over there. You kind of noticed how like everyone kind of like had this 
frosty mist around their heads, and now it's gone from wake. Huh? That girl, the halfling, halfling vampire girl. I think she's powering whatever's freaking you guys out. Can right, I, uh, so can I me, see her? Uh, you can now see her, yes, but I also need to do one more quick thing. No problem, just checking. So let me just roll that damage again real quick. That is six points of damage to both Red and Eloy. Jesus. And the guns and the spikes are now starting to dig into their flesh. Uh, I'm guessing if I were to notice the stuff moving in, I'd be able to move out of the way, right? Oh, yes. Okay, so the guns and the bayonets and the spikes and stuff are starting to dig into them. I'm guessing Red is still safe because yep. she's... There. Well, no, she yeah, she's safe, but Eloy, oh boy, that thing, that shit's right up against you, my dude. All right. Um, the little girl is still kind of like powering it. She's still standing there, giggling all the way. All right. She is going to need to. Uh, I'm going to do something that will hopefully help in this situation, because I am going to use my water whip to attempt to pull her straight into the device. Or she'll have to dodge and get out of the way and stop touching it. So, all right, that's so a that's a deck save. Deck save. Here I go. DC three plus eight plus three. Fourteen. She got a nineteen. All right. Well, she still has to dodge out of the way of it. Yep. Which means she would either have to stop touching the machine or something. She needs to make an adjustment to get away from it. Yep. So she's going to. Uh, she is going to step back, so just uh, pull her back, please. Thank you. Uh, her hand has now let go of the device, which, uh, her hand has let go of the device, she didn't take damage, she just, like, she gives you, like, this big, puffy, like, hissy fit kind of face, like, Yeah, and she still took seven points of bludgeoning damage from that. Alrighty, yeah, she, like, prank. Yeah, yeah, you just, like, you hit her in the shoulder, she kind of just goes, ow! Like, oh, wait, I'm sorry, that's 3d10, give me a second. Oh. I, I miss rolled that one, I rolled sixes. I was about to say, I thought that did more damage. Yeah, it, do it does. Six plus... Uh, that is 21 divided by two, 10 points of damage. Okay, yeah, so, you, you're, she pretty much, like, moves out of the way just enough that you watch as, like, your whip starts to turn to ice, but not enough that it hits her in the shoulder and her casting is interrupted. Uh, Eloy and Red get to roll again, this time with a plus two. Fourteen. Just incrementing by one every time. <laughs> Eventually, you actually made it. <laughs> You made it, you let go of the device as it's slowly starting to whir away as like a veil of mist kind of like leaves your face. However, you're now kind of just like, oh, there's, this shit got really close. <laughs> These knives got really, oh, it's pincering in. And unfortunately that means you are going to have to take some damage for that. You and Red are both taking three points of damage as you back up. Eloy, I know things are scary and you're hurt, but I need you to cast Fairy Fire on that girl right now! Uh, this is how my spell slot's doing. Yep, I'll I'll try and drop a Fairy Fire on her. All right. What do I need to roll? Uh, so she gets a, I believe, dex save. Dex save. Yeah. Apparently her dex is pretty good. Her dex is fucking phenomenal, my dude. She's a vampire. She's a vampire halfling. Mm-hmm. With that, with that tiny stunty and <laughs> and and that speed, that ungodly speed, that is a sixteen. That'll that'll do it. That'll save. Unfortunately, yeah. fairy fires <laughs> save is resisted by the things you really need it against. Yep. yep, the things that are fast and hard to <laughs> hit. And with that, the spikes close, and she is gone from visibility. <sighs> Well, okay, we've got a halfling girl prankster in our midst who... Oh, sorry, still have to feel about... Uh, has really got something... Got some scary pranks. <laughs> she has Nedra. I'm gonna start trying to, like, break through the spikes. It's like one... Like, I'm assuming parts of them are wood. No? All metal? It's all metal. And you said some of them were guns, right? Like, yep. with bayonets? It's like 
bayonets, knives, and like sh just sharp metal, just like all folding in on each other. All right, if that's the case. I'm gonna take the cheap way around and start trying to break through this wall while everybody else does smart things. I don't care how many athletics rolls this takes. Somebody <laughs> else figure it out. <laughs> Punching wall. 19 on the die. That's pretty sick. Uh, I start. I head over to red. Hey, so. That's 25 for my athletics checks. <laughs> All right, yeah, you're you're making dents into this wall. Ever since I opened that box, I really haven't been feeling well. I don't know. Is there like, can vampirism be like caught by just like breathing something or? No, that's like ridiculous. That? It has to be contracted via bite. Okay, well, I know I didn't get bit. Something just really doesn't feel right. <clears throat> I. She... I'll try and do a medical check and examine his symptoms, see if I can figure out anything. All right. Nine. Nine. It just looks like it's just like regular old Ezra. Still hasn't grown his uh, horse half, so you know. <laughs> yeah, his horse half's not there. All right. You turn your head and whinny. If you guys aren't seeing anything, then I guess maybe it's, maybe I'm just having a real tough time getting getting back to normal after smelling that stink. He's just punching a fucking Another one. wall. Roll again. Okay. Gonna uh. I guess he's starting to tire out a little bit. That is a 16. 16? Uh, yeah, you're, you're starting to slow down. I was going to say I medical check myself to be like, all right, well, maybe I can realize what's wrong and figure this out, but I also got a nine. So I'm guessing I am like, <laughs> eh, everything's... This shit's so strange, you have no idea how to classify it. Okay. <laughs> At first, it, it, it kind of like feels like... The only symptom you could try to pinpoint is like, you're getting fatigue, almost like it's Lyme disease. Okay. I just feel just out of it, guys. I don't know. I'm going to throw this out there. There was seven of us a couple minutes ago, and now we're down to four. <laughs> I think we might be getting into murder of children is justified territory. I think we bring back Mr. Might and Mr. Oh. Rock. Not well, I'm here! Still punching wall. Roll again. Nat 20. All right. <laughs> Hold on a second. You know, I wonder if that wall on the other side of the door was less reinforced. I don't know! <laughs> Every wall's a door if you're strong <laughs> enough. Oh, no. Did I just fist an ogre in the ass? He is slowly turning. Okay. For dramatic effect, for those of you only <laughs> listening. A big piece has just dropped onto the board. Mr. Slaps, I heard a noise. Oh no, they're in here! Get them, Mr. Slaps! Roll initiative. All right, how big is that hole that I made? Is it like door size? Can we go through it? You see this giant flesh golem's face peer in. It looks like a small, mm. like it looks like an upper torso could fit through at this point. Okay, so I didn't fully oh yeah like the Kool Aid Man. You didn't oh yeah, but you made enough that with enough finagle, someone can get through this thing. Or, you know, whoever uh, Mr. Slaps is could probably just, you know, oh yeah, finish himself through that. And oh, finish the job. Uh, uh, 17 for me. Also 17. Uh, 12. All right. Wake wasn't ready for this. <laughs> I don't think anyone was. And I think... All right, so uh, let me get the names again, I'm sorry. The numbers? 12 for Wake. And 17 for both Ezra and Eloy. Yep. Uh, who has the higher decks? Uh, we both have 16, I believe. Yep. <laughs> uh, who wants, uh, you guys can decide who gets to go first. Uh, I'll go first. All right. Unless you really want to, Eloy. Uh, I don't know if there's something they would have that would... Yeah, if there's, if there's something that you want to drop that would make things better for everybody else or something. If you had a plan. And red, let me roll for her. You had a plan for oh, this ogre God, that we didn't Red. expect to run into. <laughs> Red, you didn't, you didn't make the cut there, my dude. Uh, all right. And yeah, I kind of don't. Now I roll. <laughs> you now I roll first. for this boy. Ooh, he's going first. Ooh. Cool. I might be getting through this door quicker than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to find Nedra, which is like fair. It's a good, good goal. So you but. you watch as this, what looks like. Half a face of a man, and then another half a face of an ogre is stapled together through the middle. 
It's either a little yeah. ogre head or a big man head. How did that fit? It it the skin it doesn't. Yeah. Is, <laughs> no, it doesn't. The skin kind of looks like it like it's kind of like lumpy face. It goes whoop and then. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know who made this. You watch as the head disappears out. It clearly saw you. It was looking straight at you, and now it's gone. Just <laughs> Hi, Mr. Flaps. <laughs> that's, uh... That's a... That's a griffin's arm that just came through oh. there. And what did it get to hit? <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, well, its first attack was yep. a 17. Miss! Ha-ha! <laughs> Whoa! Whew. That's... That was a griffin arm. That's not griffin like. <laughs> As the hand kind of breaks open... That's horrifying. The middle of its hand begins to bleed torpedo snails until it... Shoots out a ray of them. That's a ray of torpedo snails. That's, yep. Is that a is that a save or is it trying to hit me? That's again? a deck save. Okie dokie. See where they get their. And torpedo. who else is in there? Because that's hitting everyone in a cone. Oh, that's all of us, I think. Yeah. That's everyone. Roll a deck save. Oh boy. Uh, you know what? This is going to be the first time this item has come into use because I just rolled a seven. So I think uh, Wake is about to go Ultra Instinct with his evasion ring. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> That's one charge. All right, so what was our saves, gentlemen? Net 20! 19. All right. 19. I cannot fucking believe this because... Hold on. Nope, never mind. Everyone got really high, but then he rolled the same number. I haven't even thrown the hit blood yet. <laughs> I'm kidding. You no. said everybody got really high. All right. So, what did you get? Uh, what was your thing? Again? I had to use my evasion ring to automatically succeed. All right. So everyone except for unless Wake it was a seven or lower to pass. No, no. Okay. No. <laughs> so every everyone except for Wake is taking this. Oh no. With a nat 20, a 26? Oh, no, you are, you're fine. You okay. got a nat 20. <laughs> I was about to say. I, I, I was like, wait a minute. You got a nat 20. That's right. So red and. Ezra, unfortunately, are taking this as a tidal wave of fucking torpedo snails is thrown at them. They both hit the wall. Yep, so spit those two against the wall. Look out, it's really gross! No kidding! You are now all drenched in torpedo snails. That's a bad place to be. Alright, let me roll that damage, because that is a 2d6. 11 point damage. Would you say I saw this attack? <laughs> yes. Okay, then I take six. <laughs> With my uncanny dodge. All right. Good call. Good call. So. Yeah, I didn't think about that for the first two times I took damage today. Yeah, well, you and Red are now covered in these things. Uh, you might want to do something about that, or else uh, some bad shit's going to go down. Uh, Mr. Slaps' hand goes back in as you watch as. The griffin talon and an octopus tentacle rip the wall open. Oh, yeah! Let's see if I just, maybe I just have the wrong arms, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this thing not, so let me describe this man for you. Sure, man, let's be generous. <laughs> yeah. Thing. Uh, so this thing has, for its legs, it's... One troll leg, one ogre leg. Its skull is made in half of a pers of a regular person, a regular human, and an ogre's head. Its body is that of an ogre. It's got the tentacle arm on one side, the griffin arm on another, another shriveled griffin arm underneath that, and a kind of like what looks like when it's in a sling for the human arm underneath it. Also in this room, we heard it- And they're all stitched. Okay. They're all stitched together. Uh, can I also see the other thing that it was talking to, or that was talking to it in this room? Where you're standing right now? No, you cannot. Okay. The girl that we were dealing with, did she look blood starved as well, or did she look just fine? You're unable to tell that. Fa fair enough. 
I never saw. I never got a yeah, good look at it. Yeah, you never. Unfortunately, this is something you've never seen before. You don't know what constitutes as a blood star vampire. I've only witnessed one. Yep. Well, technically two, but I've been convinced that wasn't a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, face work on my part. Yeah. All right. Uh, we are now at Grant. All right. <laughs> okay. I guess I don't know how well this will work until I try it. Scaffy, until we get back to the Yeldon, I want you just surveilling my entire body, pulling off any sort of torpedo snails you see. <laughs> Look. Holy fucking shit, he rolled a nat 20. Yeah! yeah. Scaffy yeah. rolls a nat 20. <laughs> Scaffy just picks up. Goes around, like, I imagine, like, walking, like, two fingers, like, bloop. No, he just kind of, like, grabs your shirt. Huh? <laughs> and all of them just disperse. <laughs> just a quick tug. It's like a Popeye move. He just goes, ta-da. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I, I tried to use the modifier of until I get back to the Yeldon, so I can't give him a consistent order, but he can do it once, and I guess that works for now. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I just put it back in my hat. Um, all right. I will count that as a free action. Ooh, all right. Yeah, that was giving an order. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Um, I am going to stealth over to basically beside uh, Wake, but like just enough space between. Roll stealth. Not get caught in whatever's busting through that door. Not great. Uh, Might be preoccupied. Might be yeah. dumb. Uh, 18. Something tells me Jimmy here ain't making too many will saves. He's not looking at you right now. All right. Uh, is there any part of him that is outside of the door? Or of wall, I guess. No. No. He, like, okay, so he busted it open then like that? He busted it open and he didn't move forward because he can't because Wake's right there. Okay. I am impassable. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to basically ready my crossbow and just ready an action for as soon as anything starts coming out of there, I shoot. All righty. Uh, we are now up to Ben. All right, I am going to, let's see here. I'm going to back up to the staircase. Holler up, Mr. Might, Mr. Rock, we need help. And I'm going to cast uh, Aura of Vitality and heal Ezra for 2d6. Thank you very much. Hell yeah. One six and one three. So nine. Hey. All right. It is now Wake's turn. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> you can do it. No, that's cool. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> Role play your characters. Persuasion for each? Okay, I'm probably gonna lose to Benny. Persuasion for both of you. Uh, 16, flat, 23. Yeah. Right. Your desperation, we could use your help to, no, we got this! No, we're good, we're good! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a panicked, we're good. All right. So now you're standing in front of this thing. Before you attack, I'd like you to roll an intimidation check. Hmm? An insight, I mean. I <laughs> no, I'm intimidate this motherfucker. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's afraid to pass me. We already know that. <laughs> All right. Uh, An insight versus insight, intimidation. Uh, insight is uh, 19. All right. You pass the fear check. You're not afraid of it. You're ready to fight it, but you're not afraid. Being I, This thing has a special ability. Being within 10 feet of it causes a fear effect. All right, isn't that more of a uh, wisdom save? I mean, I guess it's the same number for me, but... That's fair. Yeah, what, what, it, regardless. It's regardless, the same we'll number. just make it a wisdom save from now on. All right. Uh, yeah, anyway, I am going to... Hmm. I have my torch and I have my spear. You know, I'm, I'm going to do some experiments because everything else in here has really hated fire so far. So I'm going to smack it with my torch first. Okay. In an attempt... <laughs> Uh, that is a 23 to hit. 23 to hit. That hits. All right. 
I'm curious, what was the dice for there? <laughs> for not for not what hitting it. It's for something else. Oh, okay. Uh bomb bomb bomb. That would be seven fire damage. How does it react to that as I continue to just do my Fire bad. Okay, cool. Fire <laughs> very fucking bad. Uh unarmed strike. Like I go for like just a nice kick to its meaty thigh for a twenty two to hit. That will hit. Cool. This is just standard magical bludgeoning uh, with a nine damage. Nine and damage. then, again, I strike it with the torch. And that is a 25 to hit. So that hits. Uh-huh. And that's another seven fire damage. Alrighty. Good hits. Boom, crap. It's, it's reviling in the fact that it's uh, one of its uh, talons is on fire. It's kind of afraid about it, but none the worse for wear. It doesn't look like it was doing exceptional damage like it was to everything else around here. All right, and as my bonus action, I will uh, use patient defense, which gives him disadvantage on attacks against me. All righty. Uh, we are now up to red. Oh, this poor girl. Try to... She's gonna roll to get these fucking torpedo snails off her. And I think it's just the first attack made against me. I'm not entirely positive. Whatever dodge does. Mm. Actually, I have... Never mind. You have the book over there. You want a book? Yeah, I'll just borrow it while you're... Uh, just the player's handbook will be fine. You are? There you go. I'll read up on it while you... Gets back around to me. Alrighty. Uh, red is... Spending her turn to get all of the torpedo snails off of her. Okay. So unfortunately, that is her movement and her her ability her uh, action. action action. Yeah. Makes sense. All right, we're back up the list to uh, Mr. Slaps. <laughs> Mr. Slaps is a little tired of being confined in this room. Kind of mm -hmm. wants to see what else is out here. All right. He's gonna take a little bit of a step back, and he's gonna charge. I'm listening. I'm out of his direct path unless he's charging at an angle through multiple walls. He's going, he's going to run at his full movement speed. Wake. <laughs> yes. I need you to roll a strength saving check. Sure, one second. I want to see if Dodge has anything to that specifically. He's going to battering. He's going to fucking football charge through everyone to hit the wall. When you take the dodge action, you focus entirely on avoiding attacks until the start of your next turn. Any attack, any attack roll made against you has a disadvantage. Uh, you... Could I dodge out of the way? Yes. Okay, then this is a deck save with advantage. Because I'm not going to try to stop the bull. <laughs> Uh, even with that advantage, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this. Well, that's not great either. <laughs> uh, still comes to a 19, but. You made it. Oh, cool. No. Oh, fuck me! Red, on the other hand. Red, look out! No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bodied right through the wall. Ooh. Take her out of play. Ooh. I was about to Wait. Say, that's the exterior wall. That's it? the exterior wall. That. She means that him there's, outside. and we're on the sunny side. Yeah, so sunlight should be pouring in. Oh, sunlight is pouring in. This thing just doesn't care? It does not care. Okay. You okay, Red? No response. Okay. This day just keeps getting better. We're taking her out of combat. <laughs> Luckily, we're on the lower part. Wait. No, we aren't. Wait, yes, we are. Yes, you are. We're on the lower part, so she's not falling. <laughs> well, as far, anyway. Yeah, not as far. Yeah, she, well, she just got fucking bodied right on outside <laughs> of the building, so, you know. Stop breaking Kame House. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the first combat we've run that's just us three. Yeah. At this point. <laughs> he has enough reach, looks over at the donkey man. Pieces! Goes for the grab. Oh, hell. Oh, fuck me. It's a grab, so you're resisting with either dex or dex strength, or, right? Dex or strength. All right. Uh, that'd be a 24. 
Wow. By the way, Ben, here's your uh, I Believe in You dice back. Speaking of I Believe in You dice. Hey, you dummy, you can't hit me. Cutting words. Going to try and reduce his ability check. He gets a negative four. That saves it. Woo! <laughs> okay, well, he can't grapple you. So instead, that that was a grapple with his tent with his tentacle hand there. Now he's gonna go for the Griffin Claw with a rake. What's your AC? Fifteen. Holy fucking shit! You dodged it. Wow. That was a really shit roll, even with the pluses he has. I'm sure there's quite a few. By the way, you've been holding an action. Yes. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. You have. Getting ready to say, uh, since I'm, since I stealthed my way over there, I'm going to sneak attack uh, with an explosive bolt on this motherfucker. Go for it. Oh shit. Uh. Okay, hold on. I think. With sneak attack, it says plus three d six uh, with finesse weapon or ranged weapon with advantage. Does that mean I get advantage on the hit, or is that something else? No, that means that you get to use yeah. that bonus damage anytime you have advantage. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, okay. Um, well, wait. Since it's a sneak attack, does that mean I have advantage on it? Then, is that what that means? It, since it is a s- no, you just have a sneak attack. Like I think it's when you're not noticed, or if you have advantage. Oh, okay. yeah, gotcha. Um, well, in that case, I get a 17. Dead. That will not pierce the skin. Okay. Damn, this guy's big, but he's beefy. Well, it's still an explosive bolt, so an explosive bolt is now near him, I would assume. <laughs> it's now on the floor, yes. Okay. Well, then. Oh, it doesn't pierce, like, any part of him? Like, it doesn't hold no, him No, it at bounced all? off him. Oh, shit. <laughs> he just really fell at his feet. He's really sharpened those, Cap. Leave a little dash here to be like, this is an explosive bolt. <laughs> we can use Red's corpse as a marker. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes, corpse. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Either way. She's out of combat. I feel like we can use that as a marker. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. I have an actual marker unless little girl comes into play. All right. Either way, next time my uh, turn wraps around, which shouldn't be too long now since... That, that essentially was your turn. No, that was him holding an yeah, action. That was yeah. holding an action. Yeah. yeah. So now it is your turn now. So now it is my turn. Yeah. <laughs> does it have to go through a full cycle, or does it just blow up on my turn? I don't know. I, th- I think it does. Full I, cycle. Yeah. I think full we'll cycle. say your yeah. next okay. turn. Okay. That's the. You uh, could try shooting it again. Yeah, I was gonna say, I ready another one and shoot again. <laughs> well, I hadn't gotten one yet tonight. I don't. Oh yes, I had. Either way, natural one for me on that shot. Natural one. Where's that going? Yeah, where's it can't hit me. Yeah. It can't possibly hit me. No, but I know who it can possibly hit. Yeah. Oh. I could finally, uh, sadly, hurt another. Okay, you. I rolled a 75. That is low on the severity list. Okay. I just misfire and drop it at my feet. <laughs> no. Roll damage. As it blows up as you load it. Oh, okay. All right. So that would be the D6 I hate of you. fire. I am damage. right here. <laughs> <laughs> Every time! <laughs> oh, that's, that's going for max damage, fellas. <laughs> so we get six. Don't on worry, that. I got him. <laughs> Just Elmer fuds both of us. <laughs> <laughs> that said, I think my uncanny dodge, I would see that bolt. <laughs> you can, I'll allow it. So I only take three. <laughs> How is that possible, Grant? <laughs> Sorry, Ezra, I'm not... I'm not even in the line of fire! <laughs> Sorry, Wake, I'm not feeling well today. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Also, I've been afraid to trigger these things. Like, is, uh... You know, we now have fire in this wooden room. Is that an issue? I'm just gonna ask. I was gonna ask. It's, it's the, like an, it's an explosive damage. It's not like it's, yeah. It's, the fire's not gonna catch on. Okay. It's from like it's room. quick. It's gone. Yeah. Because right. I've been afraid to use these in here since. No, no. The the building's not gonna blow unless the explosive is extraordinary. Okay. You're fine. Yeah. If you're using an incendiary like mm-hmm. device, like napalm or something. All right. Oh, hey, look whose turn it is. <clears throat> Actually, it's Eloy's. Yeah. He goes. Yeah. He goes after Ezra. All right. Well. Uh, Bonus action, I'm gonna 
throw another 2d6 worth of healing on Ezra. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> I'm feeling fit as a fit. Four. He, he took a lot of damage from that chest early He did, on. he did. So nine. Right, and... Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing I'm within this thing's reach. I can't move without uh, triggering an attack of opportunity. You can disengage and move. Yeah. But then you'd have to... Yeah, forfeit my... Action. 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 Um, yeah, I'm going to try and just make some breathing room for myself. I'm going to drop a, uh, a dissonant whispers on this boy. Spooky song! He gets a wisdom saving throw versus a DC 15. It has gotten us out of so many things so far, yeah. so. With a minus four in wisdom, that <laughs> fails. What? He's With the saving throw fails or the spell fails? He failed. Okay. Oh, he failed. Okay. okay. He failed. okay. <laughs> just, so just he has sure. to flee at his maximum speed, like, right now. What direction would he go? Like, away from Eloy, specifically. Like, this is closed off, so this, this is This is closed now, off. Right? He's going to go back into the room. Aha, going past me. What a fool. He also takes... No. Oh, man, that bolt's just going to blow up, and there's not going to be anything to hurt. Except for maybe Eloy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he also takes 16 psychic damage. Jesus. Tap yeah. dancing. Christ, that's a good hit. Yeah, well, I had to, I had to cast that out of a second-level slot because I don't have any first levels left, so that did uh, an extra d6 of bonus damage. You are right. the most terrifying centaur. As he goes past me, I'm obviously going to attack of opportunity him. With the torch! 21 to hit. That will hit. Awesome. Uh, that is uh, 10 fire damage. Just whoop, as I crack him on the back. Actually, you know what I forgot to do this whole time? You were in a 10-foot aura. You had to actually roll the fear check. Oh, shit. How do you want to handle that? I mean, it's a little past facts now. We can't just time stop, is it, can we? <sighs> shit. Because that literally was, like, his primary his ability. His defense. <laughs> that was his fucking defense. Uh, I'll allow it. Yeah, sorry, dude. How much damage was it again? Uh, 10 fire. Arr. All right. Fuck, I feel like an asshole now. <laughs> All right. Uh, he continues turns to flee, out I'm there's guessing. There's lots of shit to keep track of as a DM. Yeah, <laughs> no, there really Wild. is. <laughs> Good. Uh, how, Grant, what, what, it's your what turn is, next. No, Hold enjoy on. that. <laughs> what, what is his max move speed? Week that week. <laughs> uh, as he turns the corner, you don't know. Well, no, I just mean, like, <laughs> oh. does he make it that far? He goes all the way to the back. All right, so gone, but not forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> so, are, are we still technically in combat? Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, it being Wake's turn, let's see. Yeah, I mean, when his, when his turn comes around, he can turn right around and come back in. I see that explosive bolt on the ground. I see it has some wick time left. I'm going to grab it. Thank you. Roll in here. It's my... Stop action. right there. Okay. There is a small girl and a small human boy at the ready, both with ice balls in their hand. Oh. Hi, children. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, children. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, children. Okay. That's a 21 to hit with one bolt. That'll do. And a 20 to hit with the other bolt. Those will both hit. Roll con save. Con saves for both of them or just... Just the one. Well, yeah, hey, just if the it one. freezes you, that explosive bolt's going to get hot real quick. True. Very <laughs> true. Let's hope that's not the case. As I got a 22. All right, you passed the first one, now the second one. Okay. 22 and... 18? That passes. Woohoo! You did not. I'm not freezing. I'm not, not frozen. You did not freeze in place. That would have actually. That ability would have actually dropped your initiative to the bottom of the list. Hmm. Don't need that on me. No, you do not. All right. So I still take me, damage, I'm guessing. You do take damage, yes. Two. All right. Vampire children. 
that is eight points of fr uh, frost damage. Total? Yep. Do we um, have another marker for the other kid? Uh, we do. Here you are. All right. Um, can I see the? Same can I see area. the? Uh, ogre oh yeah, man. you see him. He's awesome. in the back. All right. I am throwing the uh, explosive bolt like a dart. Okay. Twenty-two. Is that stick? That will hit. Okay. Cool. That sticks. Uh, the dart damage itself does a one d four. Oh, uh, I, any weapon I'm proficient in. Oh, right. Shit. Yeah. Sorry. It's all good. Uh, does. He is proficient in crossbow five. bolts. I'm proficient <laughs> in darts. <laughs> Unless we don't want to count this as a dart, I am willing to move it down to a d4. If, I, I'd like it if it was a d4. That's fine. Uh, oh, well, still max. Nine damage. All right. You stick it in him. Sure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good thinking, Wake. <laughs> All right, and now that I'm face to face with these children, used my first attack. Uh, they are not in front of you. They're, oh, where are they? Yeah, uh, move them. Move them back to the wall, right there. Here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So they are I thought they were not waiting at either side of the hole. We're just like motherfucker. <laughs> no, <laughs> they, they're they're at it. they are ranged children. <laughs> okay. They're not doing that shit. Uh, you, you are face first to them. The one kid, the one humanoid kid, looks about probably twelve years old, but he's all wrinkled out. Is all get out. So is she. Like from her parting hair, these kids, like they don't look as terribly bad as the kid down below, but they still look like they're looking for some hankering for some blood. All right. Um, I do believe. Like, what's the rule? I'm not allowed to split up my movement without a feat, right? Like, I can't move, attack, move. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Instead, I will just pull out one of Eloy's kindly crafted scrolls of healing words, which I now have four of uh, after using this one. That's a D4 healing, right? Or is it 2D4? Uh, D4 plus, hold on, let me find it here. Uh, D4 plus four. Okay, D4 plus four. I, I, I'm assuming since I made them, they'd be using my spellcasting modifier. Makes sense. As opposed to mine, which is negligible if it's a charisma. Yeah. So, cool. I will just use that on myself, healing for six damage. All right. Uh, it is now Child One's turn, which is the little girl. That was a readied action, so that was yeah, them no, holding on before. No, no objections here. Yeah. Uh, Alrighty. We got the same advantage when he came yeah. busting through. Can't yeah. exactly complain. All right. She is going to, hmm, let me look down at her spells again real quick. She's gonna, oh fuck, okay. This was a bad fight to lose everybody. She's going to cast haste on Mr. Slaps. Well, he's still fleeing at max speed, so. Yeah. He just he's just gonna faster. go quicker. Mm -hmm. All right. She casts haste and she's gonna hold that, she's gonna hold movement. Okay. Uh. Little boy is gonna cast ice daggers. Don't you do it. <laughs> Alright. Fuck uh, you, old man! You don't tell me what to do! Hey, you're older than me! <laughs> <laughs> the wrinkles don't lie! <laughs> okay, does a 20 hit? Uh, do these count as, like, do these count as missiles? Yes. Okay, then yeah, so 20 hits. Oh, right. I mean, it does anyway. I'm just curious if this counts as missiles or if this is, like, a... This is a missile attack. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. That is... That is eight frost damage. Dex plus monk level co uh, counters all of that, so I don't even need to roll the d10. Uh, roll me a con save. Oh, con save still, though. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, it's chilly. Hit with ice. Uh, God, these kids are so cold. That is a 16. You just passed it. Woo! All right, uh, that's his turn. We are now back up the list to Mr. Slaps. <laughs> Wait a minute, he's not here anymore. You! 
Hi. <laughs> Bull charge. Dex. <laughs> I mean, he's uh, rushing me, right? Or is that yep. a... Well, although I do say this, though. Before we continue onward, we kind of did reach time, and this fight's going to continue on for a little bit longer than I'm fine I anticipated. With that. I'm fine with that. Is All everybody right. else okay with that? Yeah. Like, I'd like to see this yeah. fight through to the end. Yeah. yeah. I can do this fight. I'm happier about that than I would be cutting it in half. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I don't want to be like, okay, my stats are here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He gets in front of you. Like, is he trying to charge into the wall like he was before? Is he just yep. rushing no, you? No, he's, he's trying to charge through that wall. Okay. So that's a strength check versus my dex, I think. Yep. Okay. This isn't technically a deck save, so I can't even use the ring to help me if this goes wrong. Uh, 21. You dodge. Woo! So, he, <laughs> yeah, you are right next to him. Oh. Sorry, other skeleton. <laughs> that room now has a gaping hole. Hey, you can see him. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> I feel like I'm fighting Bane in Batman. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you're kind of not wrong. That's how I base this guy with a little bit. Okay. With two little ice jokers. <laughs> uh, he now actually busts through the wall, so he's right near oh. the doorway. Turns. This way? Yep. As the tentacle comes out. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, this. What is your AC? 15. This hits. He, this do, is, this do, is do why I he see is, it? This is why he is called Mr. Slaps. This is why. Oh. Thank God it's not another reason. <laughs> Mr. Slaps, us for an astounding 12 points of damage. Do I see it? You might not. You might not, no. I'm actually like gonna, I'm gonna leave this here because of you're, the- Because you're kind uh, of around the, the corner at a 90 degree All angle. All right, you said 11 damage? 12. 12 damage? You said 10 damage. You said four? No damage? <laughs> Bitch, I think I said 12. <laughs> okay. By the way, I set this dice here because that's where the gaping hole in the ship is right now. Yep. <laughs> Second, uh, last attack. Turns back around. Boom. Knows where you are. Just in there. Whew, that was close. Griffin Claw. Shroom. Oh, no. <laughs> close Coming around the thought. corner. Yep. Does a 17 hit. No, it just misses. All right. <laughs> However, this does mean you guys now have flank on him. Mm. Awesome. Yeah, that will give you your sneak attack yeah. damage. However, I believe that means it's your turn. Before Unless we do I that. <laughs> oh, sorry, chap. Need to put you over here this way. Nope, oh, nope, 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 nope. Down there. Oh. Those are the vampire Oh, yeah, you're right. you're right. Yeah, you want the... Oh, okay. There's Might. Yep, there's Might, and Rock is right behind him, so here you go. Well, that means the kid's yeah. dead. Kid's not dead. He could just be unconscious. He's just been unstasis. I did punch him real good. Yeah. Yeah, it's... You don't, you don't know. I don't know. You yeah. don't know just yet. It, it was a judgment call on their part whether to kill him or, or yeah. hope he stays unconscious, so we'll find out. All right. And here comes Mike with his with this catchphrase. I say it's a good old time for some ultra violence from yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jump bull charges at him. I'm assuming Mike's about as big as this dude. Fucking Christ, Mike! A nat twenty. <laughs> Woo! We've been needing this good luck. He you him watch as Mike hoists him and pushes him into the wall. Oh. Slamming him through the other crucifix, bro. Fuck yeah. Well, that one's dead. <laughs> wow, that one was always dead. I took its hand off and it didn't even react. Okay, well, that's... Hold on, because Might also has a second attack. Slander the wall. Bare knuckle fist <laughs> punching. The, this... the, most, the most sporting of all fighting styles, boxing. See, Wake can agree with that. That will hit. So let's go ahead and roll that damage. Oh, fuck. Okay, so that nat 20 is going to sport him. 
15 points of damage, not okay. including his fisticuffs going in for the second punch. Jesus. And then Ezra's bolt's going to blow up, like, next turn. <laughs> Oh, that's right. It should have blown up. Well, no, no it's no, not I, Ezra's it, turn yet. Yeah, it's oh, not right, turn right, yet. right. Sorry. And that's another 15 points of damage. <laughs> this thing's still up. I was thinking I was hot shit dealing with <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the fire damage is probably doing more than I thought. Yeah. But... No, it is. Okay. I'm just not going to tell you a number. I'm... I am perfectly happy just knowing that I was getting hurt. All right, now it's Rock's turn. Rock is going to run into the room where he sees you. Me? Yes. Right there. Hi, yep. Hi Mr. Ashdrake! <laughs> Notices the two kids. Are we still on the stasis clause? <laughs> I would like to be. But there are a few of them. <laughs> Does, how many of them can you stasis at once? I can knock out several at a time. Maybe. I don't know. I'd have to keep them restrained in order to cast the spell. <laughs> I don't think we can keep down three of these boys all at once. One of them's a girl. I, th I think we're on... On survive and not die, and also Nedra's fucking missing, Wake. Yeah, I know. I need to find her. I think she's she's got to be around here somewhere. All right, Rock's not wasting any time. Okay. <laughs> he orders his two little pseudo dragons to shoot fire at <laughs> at the uh, at the two kids. <laughs> Wake's just like it's subduing fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking right and proper miss. Both the, of them. The, no, it's the the two fireballs are going for the same target and they oh, both okay. fail. They are a and attack, I guess. The, you you watch as the fireball is dismissed, like it goes, it blows over the little girl's head. They're both holding hands right now too, by the way. Oh, just like just to add to the creep factor. Yep. <laughs> Your blood will be delicious, says the little girl as a forked tongue comes out of her mouth and licks her lips and it goes back in. <sighs> oh, you guys like blood. Why didn't you just say so? I say, waiting for my turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, Grant, you're up. Uh, well, then that means that explosive bolt goes off. Right, <laughs> <laughs> Bullet. <laughs> By <laughs> Jove. So, His okay, cast got Grant, to skew. Yeah. Grant, so. I mean, he didn't dealt, know it was You there. dealt the killing blow with that. Hell yeah. Hey. So. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry! Got there before you got here! Mm, yes. So I'm gonna roll that da- well, Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Because poor Mite's gotta take it too. Uh, three fire damage. It doesn't even- You, you just see like his clothing is a, has a little bit of an ember, he just goes. Mm, yes. He licks his fingers, puts out the small flame. Yep. That man's gone. <laughs> All right. He's out. Take that, Mr. Slappy. You just made him fucking explode into beefy chunks. Again? He had 90 HP. Wow. Jesus. Golems are beefy boys. They are. <sighs> Next, I think it's Eloy. Well, I still haven't taken my action. Yeah, oh, true. That was, just, yeah. that was just the thing my exploding. Thing exploding. But now I'm like, There's a hole here now, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Afraid if I go in there, that's going to get the kids to start shooting at me, too. If um, we're trying to keep these things alive, I can, I can try a hypnotic pattern on them. How long does that last? Well, I, I guess we don't have time to be asking these kinds of questions. Yeah, uh, unfortunately. Three right. action talking, like it's yeah. like a second. Yeah. yeah. It's All like right. yeah, however long your action takes. I'm going to sneak over to this hole that's been created. Roll sneak. Uh, 23. All right. Kiddos, don't notice you. All right. And I am over there, and I am going to... This hasn't been going well for me, but what the hell ever. Uh, I'm going to send an explosive bolt their way. I have also made my decision. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you aiming for? Uh, Boy or girl? Girl is the closest to the wall. Then the girl. Okay. But I don't think it's going to go well. 
don't know. Uh, 16. That hits. All right. Well, she now has an explosive bolt embedded in her, and the bolt itself does... And that was a sneak attack, right? Yep. So yeah, I'm stealthy. Yeah. Hell yeah. So you add all your D6s. Yeah. So there's one, six, and another six. So 12 altogether, because the one plus five plus six. So 12 uh, plus two. So 14 altogether. All right. That's a good chunk of damage, 14 points. And that's just from the bolt. The thing yeah. hasn't even blown up yet. You hear her just, like, hold on to her stomach. <laughs> Right. I'll teach you to mess with my friends with your weird, scary machine. Wake. Eloy. Yep. Oh, sorry. Jeez. It's all good. They got the same thing, so yeah, it's hard yeah. to... Yeah. All right. I'm gonna... I keep seeing the double numbers, and I keep forgetting yeah. that. I'm sorry. I'm gonna move on in there. You got one chance to bring Nedra back. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> well. I've, I've had this for a while. Potion of fire breathing. Oh, dear. No, Eloy, it's just strangely named. It's alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I chuck the potion and then breathe whatever it lets me do at them. It right. takes 24 hours to kick in. Oh, no. <gasps> oh. oh, it tastes like cinnamon. Yeah. <laughs> kind of fruity. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop! I can't stop! <laughs> roll, uh... I, w I need you to roll me a wisdom. Wisdom check. Plus two. All right. Oh, no, it's backwards. Everything I breathe feels like fire. That'd be a 14. Oh, my God. This poor fucking kid rolled in that one. <laughs> oh, no. They were not expecting a fucking centaur. A fire-breathing donkey man. A fire-breathing donkey <laughs> man. As from the depths of hell itself comes a tidal wave of fire. Arcane draconic fire. Huh. Oh, the fucking wick. <laughs> <laughs> Just roll the damage on that now. Uh, yeah, so roll that damage, and I need you to roll me a 48. Plus two. Jesus! Woo. Wow. Well, the explosive bolt threw five more fire damage onto that. A pithy sum compared to the breath. <laughs> uh, 19. There's now a gaping hole in no children. Congratulations. <laughs> End of conflict. End of conflict. Oh, God. Woo. Oh, no. They're dead. Wake. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I. We, we did the best we could. We tried to take every avenue to keep it from getting to this. They left us no choice. We had to do it. I'm sorry. Wake just silently walks. Andra! I think that's a good spot to end. <laughs> yeah, yep. it is. Hot <laughs> damn. Congratulations, guys. Oh, just obliterated those children. <laughs> that was some good combos. Listen, yep. man. They're vampires. The conversation. Oh, I, I get it. The yeah. conversation I had with Red, I think, made it kind of clear for Ezra that he was like, more for appearances, trying to be like, we can't kill them, because I don't want my crew to get real mad when I say, let's totally kill them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Eloy started out entirely on Wake's side, and as, as the situation worsened. Yeah, so now here's a question I'll leave you guys on before we close. Where's Red? What happened to her? Uh, yeah, I assume yeah. somebody's going to go check on her. Wake is uh, yeah. Real preoccupied with the existential crisis of two children being <laughs> incinerated in front of him. They're at least 40 years old, Wake. <laughs> <laughs> and now he needs to find his student. <laughs> <laughs> quick quick housekeeping, because I don't want to remember to do it next week. I do still have eight more rounds of this aura of vitality, and you boys probably need some healing. That's oh, true. can you do that on whoever? Yeah, I can... I can well, who has who? who I'm down HP's? to 23. Okay, Rock I, is gonna turn around and look at you and like put his hand to your chest, and I'm gonna cast cure minor wounds on you. Uh, I am down to 17. Max. So congratulations, you get 19 HP back. Hey. Jesus. All right, and let's look at you over there as I'm Might is gonna go check on Red. Hello. Hello. Well, Who made this I home? Can, I can heal you up for 25 right now. Where's, what's that put you at? Oh, that sets me up way above half, so I'm good. All right, well, I've 
Like, this is going to go to waste if I don't use oh, it. Oh, okay. So, yeah. uh, that sets me at... I'm sorry, I just kind of erased all that stuff. I think I'm at, like, 45 or something, and I'm out of uh, potential 59. Uh, so another 13. How does that do you? That sets me to one below max, so I'm good. I'm so happy about this fight because this whole thing was like a close-off thing. It was just like, okay, here come the spikes. Now the room is even more sequestered, and here comes yeah. a dude who can break people through <laughs> fucking walls. Yeah, if, if things didn't go the way they were going, I was going to try and coax the giant into breaking a hole in the wall so we could get a bunch of sunlight on the vampire kids. <laughs> but if you broke it on that side, it would have been the shady side, though. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Either way, Wake is concerned. He doesn't know where Nedra is. He's... Heartbroken that he had to watch two children burn up. Is, I don't know if you noticed this, but what like Wake is the most friendly with children. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ezra is obviously not like, yeah, let's go kill kids. Oh, but yeah. He, no, listen, but he's like, he's also not realist. just the men. <laughs> yeah, no. Take, take solace in the fact that you guys actually took the time to find the more peaceful solution, <laughs> and the Asterix will remember that. Yeah, the more peaceful solution was the one where I breathed fire on them. <laughs> <laughs> you can't kill kids if there are no kids. I didn't kill kids. That spew of fire that just happened to spring from Well, me. listen, here's the thing is that the I'm going to say this for the sake of it. Remember how I said back in this chapter two that the kids actually use the fact that they're children as a we as a means to weaponize and defend themselves against the Navy. Yep. That's kind of the same situation that they were pulling here. It's just that, unfortunately, they were also vampires. Yep. Yeah. Well, hopefully uh, we can find Nedra, help Red with her beach time, and <laughs> <laughs> maybe even get our ship off this island next time at the table. But first... We got some fan art. Oh, art. yes, we do. Let me open my phone. Fan art or and fart pull. for short. Yeah, time <laughs> to look at the fart. Go by tweets. There we go. I do believe I am. First up here, we have by Acadian Creative. Where Shark Pliskin? That's pretty sweet. Very nice. I love I love his like massive saber. <laughs> Apparently, uh... We'll never know. We'll never know until he's put in combat. We'll never <laughs> fucking know. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, we'll never know until he's put in combat in a full moon. <laughs> I don't know. Who, who knows? Maybe maybe he hulks out. No, I've, I've told you how it works. If he's submerged in... If he's fully submerged in salt water, that triggers the curse. Yep, that's fair enough. Uh, this is by Acadian Creative, and they say commissions are open. Ooh. So if you're looking Whoa. at this and you're liking it, sweep it up now before he gets crowded. All right, next up, scrolling down a Aww. bit. Yeah, we got some Nedra and It by Rebecca Carolla, a.k.a. Anixia, 1321. I love that even though, like, she has no pupils, you can, like, you can almost feel like she's, like, looking up at it. She's yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It's because it's got a little bit of the shade where, mm -hmm. the, uh, where the end of the eyes are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's good-looking stuff. Thank you so much, Anixia. So cute. Scrolling on down. Fine, and the next guy. Next up here, we have <laughs> by Sage Green Cat, Mr. Cassius. Yep. Which it, it amuses me how long it took some people in chat to find the pun of the clay golem <laughs> being named Cassius. I didn't pick it up until like the very end of that <laughs> session that we did the first time when it was introduced. Yeah, there was at least one person who hit, who hit me up on Twitter saying, but I watched that entire first session and I only now in the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Since last October. Yep. <laughs> Well, this is great. Thank you so much, Sage Green Cat. Sage Green Cat also had several other great pieces that you'll be able to see this Friday on the TFS Fan Art Stream. Yay! So tune in for that for the full look at everything we have going. Next up, by E.M. Hillsburg. Yeah! We have Mighty Might, the butler extraordinaire. This in his more casual attire. Oh, yeah. Probably in his younger days, Yeah, too. I was about to say, this is younger days, Yeah, this, this is the Might Wake was reading about. <laughs> when he was more active in combat. Yeah. Uh, the way you design Mike, I, I don't know if this was like your intention or not, but uh, there was a uh, book series called, I think it Artemis, fi uh, Artemis Fowl. Already over my head. Okay, yeah, there, there was, there was a uh, basically like, he's basically a rich supervillain child and his parents went missing, but he has a uh, basically a manservant named Butler who is both <laughs> like, 
Yeah, uh, Artemis Fowl. Yeah, and no. he and he's like his bodyguard. Like think every time I picture him, I see Jason Statham. Basically, <laughs> okay. this is what Might reminds me of. Basically, yeah, that that was never the intention. I, I figured, but it's the kind of character archetype that I felt like. Eh, I'll, I'll I'll share what I first thought when I heard about this <laughs> human <right>. destroying <laughs> man servant. Uh, next up by Taylor Friedhoff. Grant, you'll oh, get a yeah, kick yeah, out yeah. of this because uh, Zito and I Zito and I looked yeah. at this. Uh, <laughs> And we we looked at this and we just thought like this is this is like if Ezra was on Seinfeld. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. But I love these like reading the Ocean Times. What is like, my hand that can do anything? I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of rolling his eyes. What even is this? <laughs> What's the deal with crawling claws? <laughs> yeah, this is by Taylor Friedhoff, aka at Life on Mars seventy three. Uh, their commissions are open. Hit looks them up. Fantastic. This shit looks good. I love it. It's called a crawling claw. It can only do one thing a day. How far can you crawl? Will it crawl or will it claw? <laughs> Ezra. Uh, next up by Juan Yugen. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, we were talking last time we had a session with all of us here about uh, fusions. This is Nedra and Wake ah. fused ah. together. So Nedrake. Wait, this is true. by Little Onesies. Nedrake or Wedra. Ooh, I like Wedra. <laughs> I like Wedra too. Next up by Fifth. Ah, uh, yeah. DM for free art requests. Holy Ooh. shit! Uh, ba Baby Dragoon thirty four with this Billy Punchy family lineup <laughs> here. I love how much Cassius looks like Krillin. <laughs> kind of does, yeah. yeah. He looks like Krillin cross T TMNT. This looks great. Thank you so much, Baby Dragoon. It looks incredible. I think I have to scroll a little bit here. Up, oh, not too far though, because next up by a returning favorite, yeah. Caitlin C37, Ooh. whose commissions are back open. Uh, a rare full color piece for uh, TFS at the table, yeah. Billy Punchy Face. And by the way, like Zito and I were like zooming in on this on the fan art stream last week. There is so much it's detail like a ton in this of detail. one. Yeah, yeah wow. look at all this. The paint strokes are fucking like they're just amazing. That's it is real incredible. Good. Like you can oh, zoom way in on that if you uh, follow the TFS fan art Twitter. Definitely check it out and definitely follow Caitlin C37. His commissions are open. Amazing work. Thank you so much. But not to be outdone. Next up, the Trotsworth with a full yeah. cast photo. Yeah. The thing that you've all that. been waiting for. Uh, Nedra and uh, Calliope have been added in. And there's it, just just floating up there. Yeah. I absolutely love this. And motherfucker says he's going to animate with these. Yeah. And I just, I cannot wait. I am just mm. sitting here on bated breath, waiting to see what comes of this. Cause this looks incredible. It is gorgeous. Thank you so much, Trotsworth. Yeah, that looks amazing. Scrolling on down past these parts, going down here, and we find from Baka 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 Boy a little showdown between the uh, giant. Well, I guess this is more of a rock and a hard place scenario for the Yeldon <laughs> because these are two things that aren't happy with us the Onrush Lord and Pobs Ravi. <laughs> I guess no Pavrovi grew up a bit in the time yeah. that we let him. No Someone cast in a large spell on that boy. Yeah, that, that, that boy got big. He's been and training in 50 times gravity. <laughs> <laughs> His water has erupted. <laughs> this looks great. Thank you so much, Baka 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 boy. And next up by Harkin Christian. Oh, Absolute yeah. horror. And again, this oh, one, you can man. zoom all the way in on. Oh, this is God. like some Miura level sketch mm. design, horrible monstrosity. That you might see in like a Junji Ito thing yeah. or something. Now imagine, if you will, if someone wants to draw Mr. Slaps like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is our horrible monstrosity manipede that the was manipede. also quite rude to Nedra. <laughs> she has not had a good trip. No, she has not. She has had a very She's bad time. She's gonna not want to go outside for a while after. <laughs> but this is by Harkin Christian, and thank you so much for the nightmares. And next up, I think last up too. Yeah, last by uh, Eltan uh, Eltanen MC. We yeah, have a you know beautiful sketch here featuring all sorts of people from the Wonderverse, including the Saturday Morning Cartoon Verse, the Billy Punchy Verse. Just there's so much to look at all here, over. so much to see. Uh, you really gotta like 
You yeah. really got you really got to zoom in to get like a good look at everybody. But of course, we have uh, Wake, Ezra, and Eloy at the center. Well, technically Nedra's in the exact center, but <laughs> how can you blame her? Everybody loves Nedra, which is why we need to find her next time at the table. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight, guys. We love you for all of your support and everything that you do for us. See you guys next time. Stick around for Pit Drops. Have a great week. Later.